like Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the five sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the five sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? Coming down like precipitation. I ain't never met a limitation. Hate applying my elimination. Gotta go to Google for the information. I'm a superstar, so I gotta shine. Top dollar be the bottom line. Bottom feeding niggas out of line. Turn your heart rate to a dotted line. Yeah, my zodiac probably dollar sign. Got the energy to win it, my nigga. I'm feeling great. Got a date with destiny, focusing on my fate. I don't give a fuck what you rapping, you been a fake. I'm everything that they ain't. It can't be, it won't be. Wanna see me fall, I can't go, I won't leave. Coming from the block with plain clothes and police. Straight up to the top with bank rolls and rollies. Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the five sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the five sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? That's a bet, right? That's a deal, right? That's a deal, right? Ay, 12 can't really stop shit, so I'm still pushing like a mosh pit. Ice dripping, think I'm hot shit in a yellow bucket with a mop stick. I've been jugging jams like wholesale. Everything must go sell. Hitting bitches with the old well, need a hundred million on the low scale. On my worst night, I'm the best nigga, wouldn't mess with you, couldn't cap to him. Homie spotted me like 700, brought 1100 right back to him. If I can't do it, then it ain't real. I just make dollars, I don't make deals. I've been going hard in the paint, still blowing cush clouds till I can't feel like. Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel. Like 550 on the five sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? Ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel like 550 on the five sticky, come get high with me, that's a deal, right? Yo, 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 what's happening? What is happening? Here we got in the room, what's good? What is good? Let's get to business, most definitely. What's good, everyone? Crypto Cobra, what's Naruto? Amy, Joel's, PC Shed, Mike Dutch, my guy Mike Dutch, Shane, excellence, Tyler, what's happening, Michael? Guys, going too fast, but Bacardi's. Whoa, 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 whoa. I can't see your names, guys. <laughs> what up, what up, what up? <laughs> no worries. Pleasure. Rise, retrace, continuation. Galu, how you doing? I've had an interesting day today, man. I had an interesting day today. Yep, you know it, guys. No financial advice. Just patterns and patterns, baby. Andrew Stocks, let's go then. Giriago, how you doing, brother? Peter Storms, what's good, man? Lisa, how you doing? Nomatic. Oh, my God, it's Tina. <laughs> this is going to be an interesting day. The pattern has the cracks. The crack school has the pattern on it. Now you got me thinking. I need to check that out. What's going on, man? What's going on? Laser code, what's happening? Is this a natural for dice? <laughs> for dice. <laughs> for dice. <laughs> oh, man, I'm going to be going through some coins for you guys tonight. I am itching. You know? quite interesting i'm gonna start i'm gonna go, obviously go through the breakdown i'm gonna introduce you know say what's up to everybody and what have you all right but man we've got something we got some shit to discuss tonight man nah we don't play we don't we don't smoke the endo man
Nice one. Thank you for getting the book, man. Didn't have to do that. Goddess, where have you been? Where have you been? What candle time do you like best for 50 day mayor trend? All depends. 15 minute time frame. Look, you've got to remember the 15 minute time frame and the hour time frame, the moving averages are different. Okay, so the 15 minute 50 day is the 13 day EMA on the hourly. All right, remember the 15 minute time frame is short term setups, guys. You know, that's what it's about. I'm, I'm a short term day trader. You know, I'm not interested if Bitcoin goes to 80, 90,000 from this point on. I'm interested in her going all the way to 60, you know, because I can profit from those moves. You know? To Toby, man, you have been. I know, man, you've been calling that from day. You know? But it's good to see everyone, man. I'm rested. I'm ready. You know, we, we've got a pattern and we need to discuss it. We need to move forward. Thank you, Martin, man. Thank you so much. Joel, what's good, man? Eric B. Thank you, man. Sonny Biggs. Bro, your shoes have been ordered, you know. So they're, they're on their way to my house. I'm going to sign them for you, as you asked. And then let's, you know, get them out to you, bro. But you've got to take a picture of them, bro. You've got to take a picture. Send it to the Discord, man. We've got to see that shit, man. Yeah, I need to discuss this Ada thing, right? I've just seen one of the comments and one guy is trying to, dis well, not disprove, but he's trying to apply fundamental analysis to the technical analysis, right? And I think he's got the wrong end of the stick because it's like I'm implying that Ada's move, based on the last video I'd done on the price projections, that Ada's move was unannounced, you know? All day long, this Coinbase thing has been pending for ADA, all right? Market makers always know the information before anyone else does. They have most of everyone's money. You've got to remember that. They have to make the market. They've got to set it up. They have to create the concept of what if in the market. And that's what ADA's been doing. You know what? Fuck it. We're going to go straight into it right now. We're going to look into ADA. I'm going to bring up ada web page <clears throat> and i'm reading out loud my <laughs> i'm reading my Streamlabs setup keys out loud can you believe that here we go all right then let me just get straight to this first all right firstly let me just see who's in here i need to address everything so guys we don't give financial advice we talk about projections on where price could go at the near term Okay, so, you know, always remember trading is a risky game. All right, be careful. If you're not ready for trading yet, you know, I mean, I'm coming across a lot of guys that don't even know what leverage is and how to understand it completely. If you don't know what leverage is, don't come into this game of trading, man. It will eat you alive. Leverage will have you. You know, it's nice in the first instance. It's like screaming out loud. Hey, what's up? You know, use me. I, I make your money double. You know, triple, whatever, you know? <laughs> Jaded blur. <laughs> What's good, man? What's good? Oh, man. But yeah, guys, just make sure you're aware of what you're dealing with. You know, Ada's not, um, Ethereum's not falling, my friend. It's not falling at all. Okay, so let me just explain something to you. This move right here, guys, you're saying to me that technical analysis didn't prepare you for it. All right? Because the guy's saying to me that I'm lying to people. I ain't lying, bro. I am not lying. So if you remember the last couple of streams, you know, every single time I do a stream, I'm always pulling up ADA. All right. I'm always pulling up the price. Just out of interest, guys, is is the volume all good? Is the volume all good? All good, yeah? Pucker job. Happy days. All right then, no, but th this guy talking about, this, th th the guy on the comments, what he's done is he's raised an important concept here, you know, which is good, all right? So it's not negative and it's not, neg you know, it's not, well, it's sort of positive, but the concept behind what I'm trying to explain is going to be valid for all of you to understand how the market really works, all right? Okay, cool. So you can't be of the impression that 
ADA being launched on Coinbase was something that no one knew about, all right? The only thing is, is we didn't know when. And even if we did know when, it, it, the market itself has responded accordingly to it. So what can we gauge from technical analysis? How can we assume that if we didn't know the date for Coinbase, all right, and we didn't know when they would release it as such, technically, what could we work with? Well, it's right in front of your eyes. Ada has been zoning out for the past few days, okay? It's been stuck in this zone. It's come back down. It's test the 800-day EMA, come back, spike to the high, manage to absorb as many shorts as possible at the highest point, and then reverse and obtain as many longs as possible at the lower point. Look what she does, all right? Pin to the low one, pin to the low two, pin to the lows three, right there, all right? So when you look back, you can see three hits to the low and you've even got yourself a mini W formation right here, okay? So technically you knew something was changing, something was about to happen. Now, do you understand why I don't really pay attention to fundamental analysis? Because the pattern was showing me, okay, that they are building up something, all right? They are developing something. Price was still above the 200 day, sorry, price was in this zone right here before it happened, right? And then they started to move price accordingly to the upside, all right? You can't really disprove, get fundamental analysis to disprove technical analysis because fundamental analysis gets absorbed way before it actually comes out. For example, look at when they released the non-farm payrolls, all right? Market makers know that, that figure when it comes out. So they will set the zones up in price throughout the rest of the week up until the point that they release that information so that they can absorb longs at lower prices or absorb shorts at higher prices. All right. It's not what the, the guys, this market is not what you think it is. You know, it's not, it's not a fair exchange. Do you understand? And they can do whatever they want. They can do all of this shit because that's how this is, this is their business model. And the only thing that they have to comply with the law is they keep price within a certain range, the average daily range. Do you understand? So I just wanted to air that out to you guys, man. We're going to come back to Ada in a short moment and understand exactly what's going on. But Ada right now, my projection to 150 is still there. You know, my projection is still there. Right. I'm going to bring up Bitcoin and I'm going to bring up Ada. I'm sorry, Ethereum. And we're going to talk interest in price action. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? So I'm going to take a sip of the tea. Yeah, the pattern does not like. Guys, I'm going to look at all sorts of, you know, Elliott Wave Theory. Yep. I mean, this strategy is based on the Wyckoff method, the Elliott Wave Theory. You know, that's the one side of the method. The other side of the method is price, you know, PVSRA. All right, so I've incorporated the two together and look what we have, you know? Okay, why is Bitcoin up and Ethereum crashing? Ethereum's not crashing. Look, it's right in front of you, my friend. How is that a crash? You know, you need to understand what a crash is. I'll show you what a crash is. Here we go. This is a crash. You ready? Can you see that there? That's a candle. This is the wick. Okay, this is the wick. All right. Now, look at that wick. I'm still going down. That is a wick. That, my friend, is a flash crash. And I'm still going down. I'm still going down. Look where the wick ends. Ha! <laughs> it ends right there. Okay, 9,862. That's where the wick ends. If I do this and draw this line here and then go to the four-hour time frame, all right, we've got a very interesting concept. All right, watch this. That is where that price ended up. It ended up there. That, my friend, is a crash. 
okay? That's when the, the brokers themselves completely took out everyone's stops and absorbed the liquidity, smashed price all the way down and came all the way back up. That is a crash. But when Ethereum is moving in a very small fashion, I mean, come on, dude, it's, that's not a crash at all, man. I mean, look at it. Where is it? Let's have a look. I mean, it's not Ethereum, Bitcoin. That was Bitcoin. See, that is a crash from Bitcoin, right? A, a supposedly crash on Bitcoin, for example. But Ethereum, I mean, look where she's at, man. She's, stud, she's right there. You know? It is. That is a crime. Gan guaranteed. It is a crime. But you know what? This is what they say. They say that's where the liquidity went. They can get away with whatever they want. It's an OTC market, man. They can do whatever they want. This is why I say to you guys, and that happened at the weekend. That happened at the weekend. All right? Yeah, CB20, man. No, no, no qualms, bro. No qualms. It's just a lot of people, when they see that, they hear, that, oh, Ethereum's crashed. People respond to that, bro. They'll just quickly see the, the comment crash, and they might go and just, you know, close their trades, and then they get really messed up, and then they start over trading. You know, it's, you've got to be careful. This is why the thumbnail is what it is. You know, stop creating the hype. Stop creating the fear. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, never trade weekends, guys. You know, because you don't know what can happen. Okay, then, so I'm going to start talking. Here we go. Let's look at what's going on. So if you were patrons, you would have received this information about what's going on in this zone with Ethereum, all right? As we all know, the formations always, the W formation always appears at or below a moving average zone, okay? Now, you've got to ask yourself this. Last night's session in Hong Kong completely wiped and reset the zone here. So we were expecting this W formation to play out and then a W down here didn't play out. This was the new formation, all right? Why? Because we saw more vector candles, all right? Now, look what's happened. You've got two pins either side and you've got railroad tracks right there. Pietro, what's good? Jared, that's wicked, man. And what day, what day is it tomorrow, guys? The link's in the description, Marcel. What day is it tomorrow? What day is it tomorrow? What do we know about Wednesday? Thank you, Big Dropper, man. Midweek reversal. Thank you. Yep, we're learning, guys. We're learning. I want that to come the same as last week. <laughs> Hump day. <laughs> there you go, guys. Wednesday reversal. Doesn't tell you which direction, but it's a reversal. All right? Notice how price is trying to edge back your PC shed. Notice how price is trying to edge back to the true psychological support and resistance points of the week. All right? Look how important that zone is. They always bring that back to... Their price will always try and come back to that point either during the week or at the end of the week. When it doesn't, it forms a new zone. Okay? And what happens right now, you can see it came away from the zone and now it's looking to try and go back up to that zone. All right. Now we'll only know tonight if Hong Kong has interest in sending price higher. All right. We are forming a zone. You can see that there's an M pattern formation right here. And there's also a W formation right here. If you look closely, you can actually see a W right there. Can you see it? Can you see? First leg W, rise. Second leg W, rise. So we've got patterns within patterns within patterns. All right? How mad is that? These zones right here, are they, they form at the start of the week. The indicators are in the Discord. So if anybody isn't from the States or Canada, you can go into the description and download IC Markets MT4. Once you've done that, head to the Discord, which is pinned to the top of the chat, and you can download the indicators in one of the channels there, okay? So you can have this whole setup, all right? So this is what we're waiting for with Ethereum. We're waiting for her to come across and close above the 50-day moving average, come back and retest it and go to the upside. That's my projection point of Ethereum 1881. That's not financial advice, 
all right? I'm not telling you where to enter. I'm telling you that's where I anticipate it to go in the near term based on the confluence of things that are happening in this area right here. Look, 200 days flat, 50 days flat, 800 day flat, all right? Five and the 13 EMA flat. There is no entries whatsoever, all right? Oh, there you go, Martin. Yeah, happy days. If you can use IC markets and you're from Canada, that's fine. I don't know why, man. It's something to do with the laws, man. Yes, it's a free version. I, you know, MT4 is free of charge. It's completely free of charge. Yes, it is. The flash crash is too is too fast for people. You know, it just takes out all the orders that are happening at that point. You know, all the stops that are live at that point. That's why I don't. I mean. I don't encourage it, guys, but I don't put stop losses in place because my trade's not in long enough for me to warrant a stop loss, you know? On the second part of the stream, guys, I'm going to go through the altcoins, so don't worry. Put your coins up. I'm going to be going through the altcoins, no problem. You know, I'm going to get in all of ADA, Ravencoin. I, I hold a few altcoins as well, so naturally, I'm going to want to check them out. You know, I don't check them out any time of the day anyway. You know, I don't really pay attention to them. I only look at them when I'm in the stream. Bitcoin cup with handle on the four hour. Happy days. Cups with handles. No problem. Jaded, man. Didn't have to, bro. You didn't have to, brother. Right then. People are getting put in, but I had no idea how to use it after that. Ryan P. I'm going to be rolling videos to help you guys understand how to use MT4. I've got the video on there that shows you how to install the indicators. All right. So, you know, make sure you check that out as well. All right. Okay. Yeah, we'll check out Fiat Leak. Don't worry about that. We're going to run through Fiat Leak. I'm going to run through Fiat Leak as we approach the session open of Tokyo and Hong Kong. All right. Is the dip over? That's a great question. That's the way we like to start things. I mean, look, is the dip over? Well, price right now is holding this zone. Now, granted, you can see a ton of lines here and it does look a little bit messy, but there's a reason for that. You've got the main W formation right here. Okay, you can see that big W right there. That's where we drew from yesterday. And everyone last night was going on a panic. They were calling Bitcoin and um, Ethereum was going to drop all the way down to, you know, 900 or whatever, man. Notice the railroad tracks right here. All right, the railroad tracks right there. Hit. So a railroad track is effectively two candlesticks that have the same low or the same high. All right. And you can see that there are two wicks matching together. All right. When you see that sort of candle right there, you know, there's going to be a change in the direction. And that's exactly what happened here. All right. They pinned the lows, came back, spiked to the 200. Well, they started off at the lows here. One, two, three pins to the low there again. Market maker behavior formed the W formation rise, retrace continuation is what we anticipated but they weren't ready for it so then they, now they brought price back down to the 200 day pin the low pin the low pin the low and now they're trying to come away from the 200 day granted when the markets do open tonight tokyo and hong kong we won't know what's going to happen until they move out of the zone so there's no confirmation there's no entry guys you know moon boys call the pattern inverse head and shoulders moon boys are correct this is an inverse head and shoulders, but an inverse head and shoulders is a variation of a W. That's all it is. Sorry, an inverse, an inverse head and shoulders is a variation of a W. That's all it is, okay? A W pattern is an, a variation of the inverse head and shoulders. That's what I wanted to say. Shit, man. You know, granted, look, that's true. Here you go, first leg, middle, head, and then the shoulder right there. It's a W formation. But do you understand when the concept behind why a W will always hold precedence over it? Because there's a psychological influence behind the W. All right. When you understand that when market makers are bringing price down, okay, they're th throwing price to the lows, inducing traders to go short. Look at the vector candle. Vector one, vector two. Everyone's going short. All right. They pin the lows, pull the, all the shorts, reverse it back up to take out the stops. Then they bring it back to the 50-day moving average. They see, people see that there's weakness at the 50-day moving average. They see it's a point of resistance. What do they do? They go short again. Market makers create those contracts and make that happen. It starts to tank. It starts to collapse below the 200-day right there. 
It's dropping, it's dropping, it's dropping. The hype is there. Everyone's going short. Everyone wants to go and take short once it breaks this previous low right here. And that's exactly what they did. But look what the market maker did. He didn't really give you much time to see a, see a return. Pay attention. Look at this. You've got that point right there. All right? Look at that zone right there. Market makers smashed price all the way through. They knew that there were guys that would put orders in that zone right there, right here. Okay? So they tapped those orders. They sent price down. Guys who went short were thinking, happy days. I'm in the money. You know, let's go, let's go. And then before you know it, the next candle gave them just a little bit more hope. And then they reversed on them, took out their stops, and then they reversed price all the way up. Look what they did. Reversed of the red candle. All right? completely recovered the red candle how many times have you guys seen this shit man why are people like literally how many times have you seen a red candle appear on this platform and then it always recovers it is that by accident let me see what are these comments saying Let's see, let's see, let's see. What's the Canadian equivalent? I believe, right, you can get um, Onanda. Onanda. That would be the best place. I'm trying to see this. Who's asking for financial advice? Guys, I will never tell you when to enter or when to exit. You know, I will never tell you. <laughs> Can you please show signs of a bear market is about to start? What's a bear market, David? What do you deem as a bear market? Because what we consider as a market that's selling off, we know that market makers are buying. You know, it's not a bear market to us. You know, that's the, that's the retail traders way of thinking. Bull market, bear market is how they market the concept of you going in and out of trades. Whenever there's a bear market, what do you do? You sell. You create, you are part of the liquidity that the market maker needs in order for you to fill his buy order. Remember, right? You're never going to go into a market and be able to buy something if no one on the other side is going to give you the opposite of the contract. Why? Because you want to realize a return on that. So if you come into the market and you buy an order to go long, when you want to sell that contract, you're not going to sell it and buy another one, are you? No, because a buy and a buy only means a buy. You know, there's no liquidity there other than the existing liquidity that you had. So you haven't realized any money from it, all right? But when you come into the market and you buy something, the market maker gives you the opposite end of the contract because when you want to realize a profit, you take from the opposite end of the contract, which is a sell. So the market maker gives you a sell contract. You think you're getting a buy contract, all right? So when price is going up, you're realizing a return, you're tapping into the liquidity from what the market maker gave you at that point in time. Ananda, sorry, man. <laughs> Shame. Shit, man. I'm having some bad boomer moments, man. Fifteen K is their price target for what? Look at the look up the coin Tino. <laughs> look, guys, look, did you understand where I'm going with that? To be honest with you, Ben, right? I'm not really too keen on on I'm not affluent in the in the trading view setup. Alright? I'm not really psh, for me it's not for me. I don't really like to use trading view. If I want to look at altcoins, you know, I use it for you guys to view it, but you know, I'm just like I'm focusing exclusively on MT4 because I know that's that MT4 is effectively what I use is an electronic central network, which is connected directly to the beat, the feed that the banks use, except mine's got a time delay and it will always have a time delay because I'm not in the game for paying about 15 grand a month just to improve my price feeds, um, the price feed coming to me by at least four seconds. That's fine. <laughs> I ain't going to be blowing that. But that's what the cost is. That's exactly what the cost is. Right. Okay, then. So, where are we at? Where are we at? 
What are we looking at? I'm just reading these patterns. Patterns within patterns solidify predictions. See, Merlin, you remember, right? A pattern within a pattern within a pattern implies that a pattern on the one hour time frame is the same form as a pattern on the 15 minute time frame. Look, there you go. There's one W right there. There is another W formation right there. You've got an M pattern right there and you've got another W formation right there. What I'm saying to you is, is this solidifies the question that people ask. If the market makers know that we're using this strategy, what can they do to change it? Well, they present plenty of M's and W's. Look, W formation right there, it came out out of the zone. You could have profited from that by simply opening an entry right there, which is what we call an advanced entry. You can profit from this move here, advanced entry right there. Another W formation, advanced entry right there. You know, you can trade these breaks away from the second leg, all right? But I'm about giving... I'm about giving you guys the setups that are high probability. And those are the ones where they come completely out of the zone. Okay. Come back, retest, continuation up, which is the pattern. As you can see, rise, retrace, continuation to the upside. That's what we're looking for. You know? Yeah, no two people have the same trading styles. No, they don't. You know, you might not trade on the 15 minute. You might trade on the five minute. You know, I might trade on the daily. You know, the next person will trade off the weekly. There is a pattern for the monthly, the weekly, the daily, the hourly, the four hourly. There's even patterns on the 233 tick chart, okay? This is why this strategy is such, okay? Even if there was half a million people in this stream all caught doing the same thing, they may not open the same trade at the same time with the same amount of money, you know, on the same pair or anything, you know? So that, that, that that's exactly what it is. Uh, if no one wants to like, you know, I mean, look, if you don't want to like, then that's fine. You know, I'll still be here, guys, but I would appreciate if you guys could like the stream. I haven't asked you at the start because I got straight into it because I'm just all about getting the information over to you guys and airing out a couple of comments that a few people have been saying. But you know what? If we could get the stream to match the same amount of likes as viewers, that'll be happy days for me. Happy days for me. You trade on the yearly. Fair play. You trade on the yearly, man. I mean, you're waiting like eight, nine months for a pattern, but <laughs> that's all good. What time frame do I think is best? Look, quite frankly, the time frames that I use are the 15 minute and the hourly. I use the hourly. For the Patreons, I'm always talking about the cycle, all right? I always explain to them the cycle. When I see that a pattern is starting to play out, then that's when I drop into the 15 minute time frame because the 15 minute time frame is going to cover my entry. It's going to give me the entry point where I'm looking for either a rise out of a pattern or, oh, sorry, a rise from a moving average and back into it, continuation to the upside. You know? Right. How do you know which one will come out most significant? All right, here we go. I'm liking these questions, Merlin. Here we go. So how do you know which one will come out most significant so you can limit risk? Not questioning them. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So Merlin, this isn't an indicator. So it completely puts that to bed. This is not an indicator. All right. If you go back in the previous streams, you'll understand that 90% of what I discuss on this is all psychological. We have to understand what is price doing at certain zones, okay? So Merlin, let me ask you a question. Well done, Crazy B, man. Well done. Well done. So let me ask you a question, Merlin. Are you of the impression that when price rises, it means that the bulls are in charge? You know, that the, the, the buyers are in control. Merlin, can you answer that question? No one else. Can Merlin answer this question? Are you of the impression that when price rises, it means that the bulls are in charge? I'm just waiting to see if Merlin responds. Thank you for your likes, guys. Just need to know if Merlin heard it. If you're able to respond, my friend, that is. 
No, the opposite. Thank you very much. Cool. So we're on the same page. Okay, perfect. So this isn't an indicator. And the reason why I asked that question for Merlin is going to lead me on to my next question. Okay. And that is how many people believe that is a concept. You know, when buyers, when price is rising, when we see price moving up, it means that the buyers are in control. So that's going to tell me who's new and who isn't. Merlin, the great wizard. Yeah, man. Nah, my lungs. I went, I went and had, um, I went and actually had my lungs x-rayed and the doctor was like shocked at my lungs, my lung capacity, you know? How many people are new? Jumper story. <laughs> he knows. Guys, I've got to cater for everyone that is new. You know? The moon boy's in control. You're new. First time. So if you're first time to the channel this evening, please let me know. Yeah, Callum, I'm actually in the process of documenting um, a trade by dollar yen. Okay, I'm currently in the process of documenting it. I've got a live trade on on dollar yen. And I'm going to do a video on it, which explains all the key concepts. So keep an eye out for that, Callum. I'm currently waiting for a projection to play out. I'm going to go through that, Tamo. I'm going to go through that. New, cool, 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 cool. Wicked, wicked, wicked. All right, then, cool. Look, Merlin, back to what we were saying, okay? This isn't an indicator. So there's two schools of thought with this system, all right? We've got price volume support resistance analysis by trader at home, okay? Who, no one knows who he is, but we know him as trader at home and I've been using his system for the past six, five, six years, okay? Coupled with the market maker me method by Steve Maurin, okay? I've merged these two schools of thought together to create a hybrid. And I use the market maker method to solidify the stops and the market maker movements in candles to come up with an understanding of how to translate price in the near future, all right? So far, it's got a pretty successful rate. For me, it has a pretty successful win rate. Now I'm looking at 75% plus um, percentage rate on my trades. And if you need to verify the system, go into the Discord and you'll see the crypto profits in there. There's one gentleman in particular who has become the protege of this system. He never understood trading. He only understood about investing and holding. All right, didn't understand trading. And that was five weeks ago, turns 12K into nearly 100 grand. Correct me if I'm wrong, PC Shed, somewhere there or thereabouts. And his success rate is flawless. You know, he is flawless. Please go and have a look at his win rate. It is despicable. I can't believe at how good this guy has adopted this strategy. 48 wins out of 48, 31 out of 30, 32, you know, and they just keep coming and coming. And the guy has got it down to a T because he understands the, the, the concept behind what the market maker is. If you want to succeed in this strategy, guys, you always need to ask yourself this one question. What does the market maker want the retail trader to think? When he makes them think one thing, you need to think the opposite. For example, when price is dropping, what, what are we thinking? Oh, go short, go short. No, we're not. We're thinking the opposite. Market maker is buying at the lows. He buys at the lows. He never buys at the highs. That's what moon boys do. That's what people that predict price do. They buy as price is rising, you know, and they sell as price is dropping, right? What we do is we buy when the market maker steps in and lays his hand because he can't hide that. And the way he can't hide that is by coming out of zones. For example, watch this. You've got a previous W formation right here. Comes back down, induces the traders into the belief that price is dropping. So they want shorts. When they're going short, the market maker is giving them the opposite side of the contract, which is a buy. So he's going long whilst they're going short. He then creates a climatic candle, which is a vector candle. Vector is an engineering term for fast pressure, you know, speed. All right. He creates this candle and pushes price to the downside. He triggers all of the shorts. All the guys who wanted to go short at the 800 EMA, all the guys who went short from this previous low down here, all right? He triggers those shorts. Market maker instantaneously returns price back up. He takes out their stop losses. Why? Because they all say, set your stop losses when you place your trade, set it to break even, X, Y, Z, all right? Then the market maker makes a run for his money. He pushes price back up and takes the stops. 
People call this a retrace. It's really a re uh, sorry, a stop hunt. Okay, so market makers take out all the stops and pause in this zone. When they pause in this zone, they create the illusion to the guys who previously went short that this is resistance. All right. And when that zone is resistance, people think, oh, okay, I'm going to get back in short again. So he sends price down even further. He installs the concept that they can get back in again because price is now coming back down to this zone. What does he do? He pins the low again. Look, look at what he does in this zone. He pins it. He triggers the orders yet again and then brings price all the way back up. He's completely annihilated the guys who went short again in this zone. And then what happens? Brings it again. Creates the same concept again in this zone. Installs the concept that price is going to go down lower again. What happens? Brings it back down. Pins it lower but doesn't take out the previous low. And then he starts to move. When we see these vector candles, these green candles, we know market makers are now starting to come out of the zone. They rise, retrace, continuation up. So our entry would have been at the break of this zone right here. Out we go. And that is how it's done, my friend. This is why this isn't an indicator. It's actually just purely on the psychology of understanding price. Right now, Ethereum is breaking, trying to break above the 200-day moving average on the 15-minute time frame. All right? However... That's on the 15 minute time frame. The 200 day is the 50 day on the one hourly. All right. Let's flip it to Bitcoin. Bitcoin right now. What's she doing? Ah, oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Who said it last night? They were not interested in our pins to the low. You know, who said it? I know who said it. <laughs> Where's he at? I want to speak to him. Here we go. Bitcoin. Bigger W formation, price coming out. I've been saying all day, price needs to break above the 50-day, retrace, continuation to the upside. My price projection for Bitcoin is 58,532 in the near term, all right? But you can make a ton if it hits that zone, all right? But there's no entry yet. Why? Because you could, if you were to enter now, Bitcoin could just drop and hit your stop. That's not what it's about. There is no confirmation whatsoever that price is now continuing to the upside, all right? We need to wait for a retrace. Drop down to the 15-minute time frame, all right? Yeah, 70K this week. That's what I'm projecting. I believe Bitcoin's going to hit 70K at some point this week. Look at the 15-minute time frame. Notice the patterns within a pattern within a pattern. Look, you've got a W formation right there. Rise, W formation right there. The 200-day and the 50-day and the 800 are closely together. When they start to cross over, then that's when business begins, all right? Look, 50 day about to cross over the 800. Ideally, you want to see the 50 cross over the 200 in the 15 minute time frame. That's what you want to see. All right. But right now, she's just trailing slowly upwards. Okay. This is my conviction in the first instance 58,532. The next zone point will be this area here, the range daily high, the 60, the 60 mark. M4 is the up, absolute high from now probably until Friday, maybe. Okay, but it all depends on how well Bitcoin rides this move. Okay, so we'll know if this pattern is going to play out correctly. Only if Hong Kong come in and step it up. All right, so we'll only know that zone there. Yeah, we're waiting effectively for level one. We're waiting for a rise, level one, retrace, continuation to the upside. This is the pattern we're waiting for. Rise, retrace, continuation to the upside that is rise level one retrace continuation working on to level two okay i've put in 50 hours into every crypto related trading stream of value on youtube only three people i've seen closer to me now hold on thank you hoot skins man that's crazy See, this is it, Thierry. If there is no retrace after the fifth, um, once it breaks, all right, right now, technically, the actual Bitcoin's 50 day right now has been broken. Look, it has been broken. But you've got to be careful, man. There's no clear conviction of the break. Yes, price is above it, all right? But for a safe entry, you want it to break, test the M3, retrace, continuation up, you know? That's what you're waiting for. All 
All right, so the 40K that I lost on Dolly Yen was pretty simple. I was going short, all right? I was going short and I was building a position and I was just adding to this short, going lower and lower. It was in line with the market maker's method. It was literally, I was working on a level two move to the downside. So I was just dropping shorts continuously, five lots, five lots, five lots. I just kept dropping to, I was about 80, 90 lots, 70, 80, 90 lots in that price, right? And then Donald Trump decides to put a tweet out saying that the relationship with China looks like it's gonna go well. And then dollar just flew up. It literally just flew up in a matter of seconds literally wiped me clean man i was just witness for one moment it was like 15k in profit and then bang psh, up it went because i was trying to swing trade all right <laughs> and that's why i ain't gonna ever swing trade again man nah man i just got burnt out granted you know biden ain't gonna be the guy that's gonna be putting out tweets but you know when trump was in charge he would mention something about china the, the forex market would jump straight to it and they would just make that response you know it was crazy man completely burnt me out could not believe that what was my best trade ever <laughs> uh, it was a good trade let's just say where can i learn that system you were talking about some minutes ago pvsra just google it but the problem with the system itself is he doesn't teach it this is the one shitty thing about it. He doesn't teach it exclusively. He doesn't have a course or a book, okay? Because his idea is if you really want to learn it, I'm not going to make life easier for you. I'm going to give you the tools, expose yourself to the price. You know, watch price because that's what I had to do, you know? For five years, I had to sit and watch price to understand these candles and understand that market makers do things differently, you know, do you know how long it took me to come to understand that when price is rising, it means that the bulls are not in charge. You know, it, it would always play with my head. You know, I never understood why they're not in charge. Of course they are. When you buy something, you know, you're commanding, you're in demand of it. Nah, you know, it's like, you know, when you walk into a, a shop that is empty, right? You can't go in there and ask to buy everything if there's nothing there. There always has to be something to be sold. Do you understand? Which is why when you come to the market and you open a buy order, the contract that is given to you on the opposite side is a sell. He's not going to give you a buy order as in matching your money against your money, is it? Because when you want to see a profit, what are you going to take out of your account to pay yourself for a position that is in profit? Doesn't make sense, does it? Physically, it doesn't make sense. It's impossible. You know, you can't be in profit before you open a trade, can you? No. So you need to use other liquidity. The liquidity that is given to you is the contract that is opposite of what you enter in at. You know, and that's how it is. So if you want to download the programs, head into the description, guys. Download IC Markets, MT4, it's there. And then go into the Discord and the link is in the channel right there. All the indicators are in there, okay? And then go into YouTube on how to use MT4 on my playlist and watch that video and it will talk you through how to install these indicators. As it happens, I'm working on making videos to help you guys understand how to really break down these candlesticks and what to expect, okay? <laughs> You've been waiting for that, bro. <laughs> Free prints to the greasy high. Well, look, Bitcoin on the 50 minute time frame. Look what she's doing. Here we go. Let's have a look. So now she's coming over the 200 day. Whenever she hits this 200 day, whenever she goes above it, I'm expecting her to retrace to come and test it. Now, granted, look, that is technically what will be deemed as a retrace, but it's not enough for me. You know, look, pin, pins, pins, working the lows and bringing it back up, working the lows, bringing it back up. I want it to come back down and retest that zone. You know, I want it to... Let me just change this. Let me get purple. What I want it to do is I want it to come from this point here, rise up, and I want it to come back down, and I want it to break out. That's what I'm expecting it to do. That's what I want it to do. Yeah? Um, and no, Bitcoin's not crashing right now. It's just coming back down to test the zones. All right, then. Here we go. Let's 
do it again. Wake up, get up, that's how play we come. Right. What we got here? Let's make that a little bit more tidy. Okay then, cool. What we got? So I started, I looked at their, their utility as a coin. Okay, would you recommend opening along with a 15? I ain't going to give you any financial advice, guys. Unfortunately, I cannot help you in that aspect. Who is making the market selling to retreat on the way down if the MM is building longs? Thanks. Happy days. Great question. Okay. The market maker can be as irrational as he wants. He can be in a negative position. Why? Because he knows where he's taking price at a later point. You know, he knows that if he, he could be minus $350 million here, but he knows that when he moves price up here, he's going to be plus 850 million. So he doesn't care about that. He's got the liquidity for it. You know, his pockets are deep. I'm talking oblivion, you know, so he can be as irrational as he wants. He can send price as low as he wants it to go. All right. He will always have liquidity. He always will see price go to the direction that he desires because he builds the orders intrinsically at these in these long candles and these candles as well okay so when market maker builds his longs when candles drop like this he builds his longs and he closes his shorts at the same time remember they got algorithms that match liquidity together so when one order is opened another is closed when one another is closed another is opened you know that's why they call them high frequency traders you know high frequency HFTs, that's what they call them. High frequency trades. They're all algorithms. And the guys behind the scenes are the big guys who would be like, look, X, Y, and Z, I know where I'm going with this. It's about the weekly cycle. That is tanks feed if you would check out. Merlin, if possible, can you put it in a message for me, my friend? Because I'm not gonna see it in that chat. The chat goes at a hundred miles an hour, you know. It's literally so difficult to keep a hold, you know, keep up to it. The difference between using MT4 and MT5. MT5 doesn't like these indicators. It starts to, the indicators start behaving in a laggy fashion. They lag, they don't work properly. So Trader at Home who created these indicators, you know, kept it exclusively for MT4. It is a collective, yeah. It is a collective. Market makers are collective groups of guys who have massive computers that receive liquidity from institutional funds, hedge funds, banks, governments, you know, pension schemes, insurance pools. They all just chuck their money at the market maker. The market maker takes that money, brings it to the market, matches liquidity with other liquidity. So this is what the market maker does. He matches dumb money to smart money and then uses smart money to make money off the dumb money. Our goal in this stream is to effectively make sure that you understand when smart money is in the market and when dumb money is in the market. Dumb money is pretty easy. Moon boys, all-time highs, all-time lows. Those are the guys that create the liquidity. Those are the guys that say, right, that's it. It's dropping. It's crashing. It moves three pips. It's crashing. You know, it's going to the high. It's making an all-time high. It's only got one, you know, not even 10-point move to the upside. It's like people hype hype so much shit up and it's really frustrating you know it is really frustrating to see because this market is emotional how can you apply anything mathematical to this game when it's all based on emotions i'm not even going to get into fibonacci's i witnessed someone today drawing fibonacci's at the most embarrassing level couldn't believe it couldn't believe it and people were like yeah man that plays out bullshit fibonacci's are used as price points for the market makers to absorb your liquidity <clears throat> When you draw a fib zone and you put your stops at the 61 and you put your entry at the 50 to take out profit at the 61 or you use the 38 as a stop loss, you know, market makers see that, you know, they see where you're putting your money and they just tap those zones, take the liquidity, bang, you're out of your trade. And then what do you do? You start again using the same concept and it just keeps on happening and happening. Granted, there are guys who do make money off the Fibonacci's, you know, but when you know that those indicators are designed for you know to be against you then you know you do have a problem you know that is a big problem and try i mean please disprove it please disprove what i'm saying you know i'm trying to get someone to disprove it but the reason why they can't is because this is the business model this is the market makers business model you know
<laughs> what do I get out of providing this knowledge other than satisfaction of teaching? Now nah, I get better at the system. Everybody knows the 10,000 hour rule, yeah? Well, I'm working on my 30,000 hour. Let's put it like that. That's what I get out of this. If I can teach someone how to do this, I'm progressively stepping towards mastery. I'm becoming a master at the system. Take PC Shed. He's taken the simplified version of what I've said to him. I've explained it in simple terms. He's gone and absolutely killed it. 12K into 100K in less than six weeks. Tell me if I'm wrong. Profit, proof in the profits. Go into the Discord and have a look. He's put it all there. You know? That's why I do it. Give me 100 million pounds, I'll still trade. Technically, I would have achieved that amount of money is the goal for a trader to achieve that amount of money. But why did he keep trading? You know? Tudor Jones, why does he keep still keep trading? Soros, why is he still trading? It's because they love the game. They love the hunt. You know? This game is 95% psychological. All right? Statistically, people that come into this game lose. When you've got an edge in it and you can beat it, man, that is just mind-boggling. You can, you know, it's a big thing. You know, everyone can be a footballer, but not everyone can play for Real Madrid. Everyone can be a trader, but not everyone can win. You know, when you open a trade, you are deemed as a trader. You make a penny, you're a trader. You know, you make a buck, you're a trader. But you keep making that money. Can you keep doing it? It's a different story, you know? Right, well, listen, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is this, okay? I'm going to go into it. It looks like Ada is actually making a bloody move, all right? So, whilst I get ready to go into Ada, all right, please get the likes up and let's check it out. Raw spreads, my friend. Raw spreads or standard, it doesn't matter because you can open another one in, when you open the first one. So, if your first one's raw spreads, it's fine. You can open the standard one straight after. You know, standard is high spreads. Raw is um, low spreads and a little bit of commission on the trade. Here we go. Ada. There's nothing wrong. Nothing going on with it. Right. It's 10 to 11. I'm just going to quickly make myself a quick drink. Okay. Let me bring up Fiat Leak. So you guys can sit back and watch this so you can see what is happening. Let's see who's buying Bitcoin. Actually, you know what? Let's see who's buying ADA. Let's see who's buying ADA. Give me two seconds.
Yo, yo. Yeah, by the way, I'm flipping the track soon. I'm going to change them up as well because I've been rinsing these tracks off, man. They're the same tracks. Tony, I see you, bro. What's going on? All right, then. So, Ada hasn't moved at all. Stuck in this zone. Everyone's going crazy for Ada. All right? So, yeah, here we go. Yeah. How you doing, man? Tom Murphy, how you doing, brother? Okay, then. So, where are we at with the likes? 717 likes, 12, nearly 1,300 people in the live. Come on, guys. I had Aiden literally sold two minutes before he went up, lost 20k. BitBoy Crypto is an idiot. Oh, wow. Really? Did he say to people to sell? <laughs> That's unfortunate, man. I'll tell you one thing, my friend. This is what you'll understand about this stream, okay? When we see a pattern, all right, whether or not you're in a formation, there would have been enough information purely off this stream to tell you to not sell that, to not sell Ada, all right? Why? Because Ada was forming this zone right here, all right? Now, granted, the Coinbase news did push price out of the zone. But if the Coinbase news wasn't about, all right, we would have probably still been in this zone. Price would have been in this region here. So we would have been waiting for the pattern to play out, all right? So the only way we would have known if the pattern was going to be false or not validated is if this zone right here, okay, was broken. So if price is up here, happy days and it can stay up here for as long as it wants as long as it doesn't break this zone whilst it's staying up in that zone it could form another w formation all right it could done it could have done this up back down up another w formation rise up it could have done that no problem okay but we live and we learn my friend we move on okay told everyone the price would drop to 75p wow so that makes you think that that does make you think, you know, is it manipulated? You know, which is in line with exactly what I've been talking about, guys. You know? Remember, he's 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 appealing to the moon boys. He's appealing to that's his that's his fan base. The guys who trade the all-time highs, the guys who go long right here. The guys that go long right here. Why do you think there's a pin to the high? Hey? Because there are people that brought in this zone. Try and find just just a bit of an exercise for you. Go and look on just search Ada on crypto on you know in YouTube, and just have a look at the comments. Try and pick as many people as you can that say, "Oh, I entered at one twenty-five, or I entered at one fifteen, one twenty-one, and now look where it, where it is." Just try and see if you can catch anyone that says they entered at one. Sorry, if you catch anyone that can, says that they entered at one twenty-six, one twenty-eight in that region. All right, and I bet you see there's a lot of people, man. You know. We've been waiting for Ada to do this move for a long time. If you go back to previous streams, we talked about her coming back and hitting these zones. All right. And the reason there's no other reason other than understanding the psychology of the pattern. It's not because the indicators turned in our favor. It's not because MACD is lined up. I mean, I, I haven't used MACDs for about nearly eight, nine years now. All right. I stopped using these retail indicators a long time ago. They say that trading is psychological. Yes, granted, you know, you can't have trade with emotions. It's impossible because if you had no emotions, you'd be a robot or you'd be dead. Okay. But what they mean, what they're not telling you is when you're trading in terms of psychologically, you have to understand that price is influenced on the basis of keeping people fearful and greedy. So that's where the psychology is. That's the market makers indicator, fear and greed. When you create the illusion that price is dropping and dropping, what are you doing? You're getting guys to sell. By them selling, you're buying. You know, market maker isn't going to be buying when it's rising. Mm -mm. He's selling as it's rising. He sells his longs as it rises and he builds his shorts as it tops out. That's exactly how it works, guys. Disprove it. Please try and disprove this approach, man. Because I no one's coming forward with it. Why? Because it's the business model. If anyone knows the market maker method, they know that this is the business model. This is how it works. All right. But you know what? You're going to get the guy that will say that. You know, he will say it's bullshit. And you know what? If he can disprove the idea behind when price is rising, buyers are not in control, then I'll gladly accept that this method is flawed. 
but he can't because physically the sign, the, the actual physical transaction, it could never happen. You know, buyers are not in control. No worries, man. What's the channel? Okay, I was watching the price like you say, and I'm still in. Happy days. No, the pattern is valid. The pattern is valid. A theory <laughs> aid has broken out of the W formation. What are we waiting for? We are waiting for the following. So we know this is the cycle. All right, hold on a second. Let me ask now. How many people are new in the stream right now? Anyone new that's just come into the stream so that I can draw the patterns that we look for? Okay. How many people are new? What's up, Ken? Ken Barbie, looks like you got your work cut out for you, bro. I'm going to go through some um, altcoins in a second, guys. What's happening, new retro? New, 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 new. Welcome to the channel. Thank you very much for passing through, guys. Bitboy said, Bitboy never, never said you should sell Ada. I said the complete opposite, and he just brought a couple of, couple of week, five hundred thousand. Uh, wow, this is all motive, guys. It's all motive. When you've got half a million people that hold on your every word, you can move the market in some way, shape, or form in a matter of seconds. Yes, I know. I know the rise is due to Coinbase. I know, and I'm not saying that this has come out of the blue, but the rise due to Coinbase, okay has been already factored in here. They've been building their longs at lower prices. Ask yourselves, look at the pattern, guys. Look, right? They've been going long. They've been building longs at lower prices and then bang, they move out on the news. You know, they haven't moved out of nowhere. Look what they're doing. They're just building longs at lower. Why have they held the 800-day EMA? Surely, if there was any news that was going to come out out of a second and Ethereum, sorry, and ADA was going to continue down to 75 cents, it would have been at 75 cents even lower. And the news from Coinbase would have sent it even further up. But they don't want to make it go any lower. Why? Because they have an interest in these zones. All right. They've been keeping price above the $1 mark and that's where it's staying. You know? I'll bring, yeah, Fiat Leak is effect, courtesy of Mike Dutch. That website, Fiat Leak itself is a platform that factors in all the transactions that happen on the blockchain, all right? So right now you're seeing that America is buying Bitcoin. Uh, Europe is buying Bitcoin. Korea is buying Bitcoin. These are all the countries of the world that are buying Bitcoin, all right? So that's what Fiat Leak is. And then on the side here, you can see all the coins and it's going to show you where they're being purchased in the country, right in the world right now. OK. Well, bullish. Yeah, it's, it's been stuck in that zone, guys. This is what I mean. It's been stuck in the zone. But we've been following a pattern. We've been paying attention to this pattern. And this is what we've been waiting for. We've been waiting for Ada to break out of the pattern. Look, W formation. And another W formation we've been holding. Your entry point would have could have been here. You could have entered at this point or this point here. We were expecting what? Price to break out from the 50-day and the 200-day moving average. We're expecting now retrace continuation. So this is what we're waiting for. We are waiting for the following. We've got the rise, right? Now the retrace, continuation to the upside. Where that retrace goes, we will never know. Ideally, we want the 50-day to come up a little bit more, okay? But it all depends on how much Tokyo and Hong Kong absorb this information. There could be some profit taking, which is going to send it down to the retrace zone. Once the retrace zone is, is effectively formed, it rises from that point if and only if Hong Kong see the value in ADA being listed on Coinbase, you know, the daily pivot point, daily pivot point just takes the high and the low. So basically it takes the high and the low and divides it by two, the pivot. All right. The high of the day, low of the day and finds you the pivot point. So it's a point where price can go one way or the other. That's as, as best as it can go. Seven out of seven trades yesterday. The patterns don't lie. According to some bro, <laughs> apparently the pattern does lie. And that's not to anyone that's inside this chat. You know, I've been looking at comments on on the channel itself. 
bro, man, people still don't want to accept it. Because you've got to understand, there are people that are coming to this stream that have been trying to understand trading and been sticking to a strategy for the past 10 years of their life. And I've come on in five minutes and explained to them and basically made their, their strategy. Effectively, I just dismissed the whole thing, you know? And people find that hard. Yeah, of course. Yes, it is. Avinci, that is fundamentally how it works. All right. If you want to prove this, prove it, or you want to prove it, go into Forex and find when the non-farm payrolls are due to come out. They, they normally come out the first Friday of every month. Okay, the non-farm payrolls. Okay, now look at price before that news comes out. Watch what it does or watch what it's done. It usually trades sideways. It either trades sideways coming from a, a drop or it trades sideways coming from a rise. All right, when the news comes out, what does price do? Whether it's good or bad, it goes in the opposite direction first and then moves the true direction. Market makers need to remember this big order right here, okay, could have only happened if there was liquidity in here you know because if there was news that came in right now okay and billions of dollars came into ada the price wouldn't be this big it would go way up here it would probably send it all the way up to about three pound all right but you would have busted the market then you know there wouldn't be anyone buy selling no there won't be anyone buying at three pounds there'd only be people selling you understand right because people would have been holding ada for a long time so what do they do they move it in their average daily range okay so her average day oh i can't even get the average daily range up is that anywhere in terms of these indicators that we've got in here mm. oh i can't even tell you the average daily range the average daily range is critically important for for these coins man so important the average daily range Oh, I forget that. Okay. So do you get where I'm going with this, guys? Liquidity. It's just the money. Ah, oh, fetch. You know what? Let's have a look at fetch. Right. So these are the, so the coins I'm going to go through right now. Serena, does this indicator have the ADR? I don't know where it is. Where is it? I can't, I don't know how to get it up. That's why, I mean, that's why I don't use TradingView, man. Shit, man. There you go, Zen. Like, it got released. Like, don't you see, though? They set it up. They set up price. Why has it been holding this zone? If they wanted Ada to drop continuously, they would have been going down for a long time, but they knew the information was coming out. So they set the zone up. They created the liquidity in this area and got guys trapped who thought they were going short on Ada. And then what do they do? They built their longs. The news comes out. They've got the liquidity to send it up. Imagine all the stops that got taken out in this area here. My God. Go, Ada, and go down the graph. What am I looking at? How you doing, Crypto Ned? Bitcoin dominance. Keen to see your take on the pattern there. Alt season started. See, this is what I mean about it all, man. There's there's different ways of seeing patterns and charts. This is what crypto does, and it's really good, and it's and also crazy as well. At the same time, I'm like, right, okay, Bitcoin dominance chart. Like, what the fuck? It's like you know, well, you've got the you know the dollar index, which I could say is the same thing, you know. So let's have a look. Bitcoin dot D.
Can you hear me now? What have I done, man? These boomer moments. My God. What am I doing? All right. Matthew. <laughs> Mintino ain't talking. Here we go. Fetch AI. What has she done? Okay, so we anticipate. Here we go. M formation. Rise. Drop. Rise. Drop. W formation. Right. I have. I seriously think. Okay. That fetch is going to hit one buck. She's going to go for a dollar, man. Because the technology of fetch. I remember when I brought fetch when it was less than like three cents back in the day. Oh, God, man. It was so. Not. Yeah. Three cents. How much was it? No, about four. Four, five cents. That's when I got it down here, man. Picked up a bag of them. But the reason why I got Fetch AI, right, is the technology that surrounds it. It's unbelievable. Here's an example of how it works. Imagine you're a wholesale company, all right, and you've got 50,000 tons of meat in your freezers. We've just hit the pandemic, and then all of a sudden, you're not allowed to get your stock pushed out. So what have you got? You've got 50,000 tons of meat exposed, money that's sitting there that needs to move. You need to sell it, but you can't because the world stopped. So what do you do? You come to the Fetch network. And what Fetch AI is, is it is effectively a stock market, or should I say a futures market, where you can hedge the value of your stock against other guys in the same position. All right? So it creates a smart contract based on the value of what you currently hold, and then you offer that out to other guys with other lever leverages of risk. All right? So then the profit that you earn on your risk, or should I say on your contract in that exchange, it effectively reduces the exposure that you've got of stock sitting in your fridge, in your freezer, sorry, all right? And there are wholesale companies adopting that technology, you know? Four out of five trades today, well done. I thought you said you didn't care about fundamentals. I don't care about fundamentals. When it comes to trading, I don't care, but I need to know what fetch is. I ain't gonna blindly buy something. Because, you know, I brought it based on understanding its technology. You know, didn't care about its market cap. I just looked at its technology. And it's now at 75, 62 cents. So we're doing something right. I don't like to call it fundamentals. I've got this aversion to fundamentals. It's not fundamentals, Mersec. <laughs> it's not fundamentals. I don't care. It's just, it's just nothing. It's just not fundamentals. I have an aversion for fundamentals. I think I'd be a much better trader if I had a little bit of fundamentals in me. But... It's all ultimately it's price. That's all we care about. All right. Next coin to hold is XLM. Right. Okay. So XLM. Right. Here we go. Need to draw a new W. Well, we don't actually. We just need to reevaluate the existing one that we've got. So we've got two patterns here, guys. All right. So you can take either the bigger time scale of it, all right? Or you can factor in the smaller one. Rise, retrace, continuation to the upside. There's even a small W right there. Can you see it? Look at that one. These are tradable Ws. You can trade these Ms and Ws when they appear. Look, you can trade them, all right? Watch. You can, but your profit target is going to be very short. You know, it's going to be very short. What's Bitcoin doing? Yeah, Bitcoin's all right, man. It's still stuck at the 50 day moving average. Mm, dollar yen, man. She's holding that zone nicely. Oh, a, um, Ethereum has just pumped. Ethereum has just pumped ever so slightly. But yeah, look, you can see the pattern within a pattern. But those smaller patterns, you know, you're going to be looking for smaller, smaller gains on those small patterns. All right. That's why when you look at the one hour time frame, you establish the cycle. All right. You need to establish the cycle. So let me just get rid of that. Okay, then. So rise, retrace, continuation to the upside. Price projection point is what I've been saying all along. For the past week, 
we've been looking for the 42 mark that's where i'm looking for xlm to go the 42 mark why because that's where the market makers started their buys it's where they started their game to go low so they can get so they can buy xlm at a lower price point all right cool um obviously i hold ada i've got xlm i've got fetch um chz chills no i sold chills sorry i sold chills and i'm gutted about it i just saw someone saying that m formation look what it's done it's come all the way back down to the 200 day doesn't look like they're going to be moving chills yet doesn't look like it Ave. nice okay Ave looks like she's now holding a zone we've got a very small w formation right here can you see it? Oh, yes, that's it. I have Raven. Someone's reminded me I've got Raven. Okay, then. The age of pattern. One, two, three. Inverted head and shoulders. Variation on the theme is a W. So waiting for now, Ray, um, Ave, to come up to hit the 390 mark. So he needs to break above the 50-day retrace continuation to test the 200-day. And the 200-day needs to cross over the 800 EMA. And the 50 has to cross over the 800 and the 200. So there's a lot of stuff going. Engine. Oof. Okay, this is interesting. Oh, there you go. Rise. Came out of the zone. Happy days. So you have got an M formation here, guys. All right. But the same token, you're seeing as well a W formation, but a small W. All right? Because we ain't seen many vector candles. Although if you look closely, you can see a couple of vector candles right there. All right? So not much happening. This retrace back up is a stop hunt. Rise, drop, and now they form the low. Pin to the low, pin to the low. We will only know if this pattern holds if price stays above or goes above the 200-day moving average. If it continues to the downside, we should be expecting price to hit the 200-day moving average. Which means once it hits the 200 day moving average, it should form another pattern. All right. That's only if the market makers are finished with their intention. Okay. So that's where we are right there. Um, where's Jordan's question? Jordan Kenny, where's your question, bro? Hold on a sec, guys. Hold on a sec. Hold on. Where's Jordan's question? Where's Jordan's question? I need to see it. Jordan, write your question again, please, bro. Oh, where is it, man? So Frank's saying... Okay, so Frank's saying that... Surely you can make a W out of any of them. Technically, yes and no. Okay, I'll explain now. Here we go. I said, surely you can make a W out of any of them. How do we know which ones? Great question, Jordan. So this is how you know, all right? Look, this, for, this is for the new people as well, all right? This is the cycle that we look for. This is a weekly cycle by the market makers, right? That's the weekly cycle. So the weekly cycle starts with a formation, a rise level one, day one, rise level two, day two, peak formation, level three, okay? Then drop, drop level one, day four, rise, drop level two, day five, peak formation. Remember, this strategy is on the basis of Forex. Obviously, crypto, you know, trades on a Friday night, Saturday and Sunday. Okay, this is on a weekly basis. Okay. Now look. That's the cycle, yeah? What if we just move this here? What do you see? W formation there, M formation working down the pattern. Can you see that? Let's move it again. I did this last time. Let's find another pattern. It's 
Let's find an M formation up there. Too small. Okay. If you go back in a couple of videos, you would see... I mean, yeah, you could say that was there. That was a pattern. So a W formation there, M pattern right there. Can you see it? And then it's come back down, formed the M formation, W up it went. What constitutes an M and a W formation? Pretty simple, okay? A W You're looking for an aggressive move to the downside for a W. If you want the indicators guys, you either download MT4. So go into the link the description, okay? And you can download MT4 and install the indicators on the MT4 platform. Once you've got that platform, go to Discord and download the indicators from the indicators folder in there. If Mike can sort that out, that would be great. Okay. And that's it. So, you said Bitcoin 70k this week. Please explain. I said, no, okay, I didn't say Bitcoin 70k this week. I'll say a reason why Bitcoin could hit 70k this week. Okay, I'll explain to you. So here we go. The first leg of the W has to show an aggressive move to the downside. You want to see vector candles, big candles that mean that price is being pushed to the downside. All right. So if we go look at Bitcoin. Whoa. Right, so I don't want to use that as an example because that is extended there. Wait there, let me give you Ethereum so it's clear cut. Okay, cool. Okay, here we go. You've got Ethereum here. This is the first leg, all right? This is what we're looking for, right? You can see the first leg has vector candles. One, two, three three vector candles now remember guys the w's they're not static there are variations of it the purpose of these streams guys all right is to get you to witness as many variations of okay many variations of the w and the m they are not static patterns there are variations of them you can have a a w where it only has one vector candle two or three you can have one where it's four. You can have one where it's just one long ass candle. Okay. So there are so many variations to it. The purpose of going over the previous streams is you're going to see those variations of W's. I mean, that's exactly what PC Shed done. And anyone that goes over the previous streams always comes to me and tells me that they get it. All right. It's there. It's all there. I'll check it out, Eddie. You know, all the information you need is there. All right. Now. The first leg constitutes of a vector candle, all right? When price comes back to the 50-day moving average, remember, a W formation will either form at a 200-day moving average or a 50-day moving average, okay? Right now, it's forming at both. So price is pulling away from the, from the moving averages. And if you go, sorry, if you go and watch the previous video I uploaded on how to use the moving averages, this will make sense for you, okay? So they pull away from the moving averages and then they return price back the middle part of the w is price returning back to the moving averages what does that mean well look when price is dropping market makers are creating the illusion that price is going south so it needs to encourage traders to step into open shorts why because the market maker needs their liquidity to go long all right so he builds the longs, he builds the longs, he creates the, the fear. Oh my God, ADA, Bitcoin, Ethereum, it's dropping, it's dropping, it's dropping. Quickly, go short, go short. You know, dump, 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 dump. Get rid of it, get rid of it. You know, ADA's, um, Ethereum's going to go down to a thousand bucks. Get rid of it, all right? It's, it's brilliant, honestly. It is fantastic how they manipulate people. And it's even worse that YouTube now, okay, is a platform for that shit to happen. Market makers don't even need to do anything now. They just need to move price in one spike candle right there. Someone goes onto YouTube and they see someone saying, Bitcoin crashing, Ethereum crashing. Shut the fuck up, man. Winds me up, man. Read the price, you know? Here we go. It winds me up, guys. I mean, I'm just so passionate about this game. 
you know i'll look at the coins guys let me explain people are asking questions man people are asking questions all right here we go so when they've been bringing the liquidity into the market to go down short, market makers then open their longs, all right? They use the opposite side. Remember earlier on I said to you, when price is rising, do you think that buyers are in control or sellers, okay? Now, the middle part of the W formation is formed when the market makers wanna take out the stops. So when everyone's going short, they're setting their stops in place, okay? And market makers bring price back up to the 50 day, all right? to effectively take out those stops so that they can grab the liquidity from the longs that they filled previously. Then when they come back down to form the second leg, the second leg is really important, right? Because the second leg installs in the eyes of a retail trader that they missed out on the opportunity to go short here. So now they're gonna take advantage of it going down here. When they send it down here, price is not allowed to go anywhere lower than the second leg. And then bang, they move out of the zone, all right? Let me just bring up, let me bring up Ethereum on the other charts so that you can see this example playing out clearly. All right. Oh, here we go. Here's this, for example. Here is a W formation. All right. So we agree that is a, let me just bring this up here. That's a W formation. It's exactly the principle that I just explained to you. Vector candle one two, three, inducing the lows, all right? Retrace back to the 50-day moving average, take out the stops for the guys who went short, use their liquidity to get their longs filled and closed at a higher point. Redu in introduce the same concept again, vector candle right there, pushing price down, pins the lows and then comes back up. Retrace does it exactly again there. So you've got a little mini W right there and then they move price back up and they break out the zone. They've absorbed the liquidity in that zone, all right? Here we look for another one. There you go, look at this. Look at that W formation, small W formation. Well, look, one long vector candle. One long vector candle, spikes the lows, retrace back up, continues again, continuation to the upside. Recovers the previous red candle. What have we said about this previous red candle? What have we said about this previous red candle? And what about this previous red candle? Guys, it's not because the indicators are lining up. It's because there is behavior. There's thinking behind these candles. It's all psychological. When you get that in your mind, it will change the way you trade. It will completely flip it for you, you know? But who am I? Let me give you another pattern. There's the pattern in play. That's what we look for. Rise, retrace, continuation to the upside. M formation. Look, getting their longs filled at high. Sorry, getting their shorts filled at higher prices. What do they do next? Rise, vector candle one, two, three. Okay. Retrace. Back up. Continuation to the downside. Recovers the previous green candles. Oh, you know, pay attention to it. There's your other W formation, comes down to the lows, works the lows, rise, retrace, doesn't take out the previous low, bang, moves out. Let's look at it again. So we've got W's and M's for days, guys. Here we go. Retrace back down to the pattern. Vector one, vector two, vector three. Bring it back to the 50 day, retrace, continuation out. Give me another pattern. M formation, rise, climatic candles right there. Right there. Drop down to the 50-day moving average. Take out the stops for the guys who went long. All the moon boys stepped in here. Got happy that Ethereum was going to the fucking moon. Obviously not. Retrace. Make them believe that it's another chance to buy the dip. The biggest BS out there. Buying the dip. Huh. There you go. That's what happens when you buy the dip. Retrace. Doesn't take out the previous high. Drop. Happy days. You've got no money. That's your moon boys for you. Look at this perfect W formation right here. Vector candle one, two, and three. Comes up, test the 50-day moving average, retraces back, does take the low previous to the first leg. However, it comes back and closes above it, traps all the guys, retrace back out. That's all it is, guys. That is all it is. You know? That is exactly what it is, guys. There are patterns, not indicators, patterns. You're observing psychological responses to price at certain points. As soon as you accept that, 
happy days, you know? Well, this is what we're looking for in the next half an hour. This is what we're looking for. We are looking to establish whether or not that Hong Kong, okay, <laughs> go to the moon, obviously fucking not back down. <laughs> I couldn't tell you what the name of that song is, bro, I don't know. Here we go, Merlin. A W is all about market makers creating opportunity for profits then achieving it by manipulating people's reactions. Correct, Merlin. It is manipulating people into believing that one thing is happening when something else is happening. Okay? Look what's happened here. Rise up, right? They made the guys believe that Bitcoin has now returned over the 50 day and the 200, sorry, Ethereum's returned over the 50 and the 200 day on the 15 minute time frame. Happy days, we're going to go to the moon. See you later. What happens? They bring price back down to the moving average. They regulate it. They make the guys believe who went long in this first instance that they can get back in again. So what do they do? They encourage the guys to buy the dip. Happy days. They brought the dip. What happens? Huh. Doesn't take out the previous high. It collapses. Okay. Takes out all those guys who went short, who went long in this instance here. Okay. Now what's happening? Now we've got price in this zone. So market makers are now accumulating. We're waiting for Tokyo to open in half an hour. And then we've got Hong Kong at 1 a.m. Okay. So now we wait. This is what it's about. We wait. Don't worry. Hands up, man. Don't worry. It's all good. The exit strategy is, is based on what you accept as a decent profit for you, okay? An exit strategy is when price comes back down to a moving average. That's exactly what it is, you know? So, for example, look. Here we go. If you took this W formation, all right, and say hypothetically you entered in this point right here, you would have rode it. It would have expanded away from the moving average. What you want your chart, your, your position to do is you want the candles to move away from the moving average. When they're moving away from the moving average, you know the market makers are dealing with price. Okay, that is some mad work on there, man. The effort you went to to type those emojis is crazy. All right. So when price is rising, 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 you're looking for the first attempt by the market makers to break down towards the next moving average, which is either the 5 and the 13 EMA. So when price closes below the 5 and the 13 EMA, you've effectively got your exit. Doesn't matter if it continues back up. If you honor the, if you honor the strategy, it's going to save you more money in the long run and you're going to close in high-end profits rather than letting it blow out to about down here when you've only, you know, you're, you're letting you believe in money on the table as such all right so when price closes below the 5 and the 13 ema on the 15 minute time frame after you've caught a big move to the upside for example that would be your exit all right don't leave money on the table guys that's exactly what it is What, what does this coin mean? No worries, man. But they could sell it off, no problem. I'll look at... um. Dollar yen in a sec. Here we go. What have we got here? Right. The EMAs that are relevant are the 5, 13, 50, 200, and 800 EMA. No one cares about your shit coins. Oh, God. Bitcoin. Let's have a look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin is just stuck in the zone. They're holding it for Tokyo, guys. They are holding it for Tokyo. They are waiting for Tokyo. All right, let's have a look at some other coins. Two secs. Let's have a look at VET.
Perfect. Look at V-Chain. Broke out of the zone. Happy days. Rise. Look at yesterday's. I believe it was the last, um, I think it was Sunday night's projections. We did it. She broke out of the zone. V-Chain broke out of the zone. And she hit the projection point. If you guys remember, 0 0.77, we called that for V-Chain. Please go and have a look at that. Please go and look that previous stream. If any, anybody remembers, that projection point for V-Chain came through. Shit, you can't see. I've done it again. Wow, there you go. Boomer right there. <laughs> there you go. So if you went on Sunday night stream, you would have seen... Or was it Sunday night? Was it Sunday? I believe it was Sunday. Yeah, Sunday night stream... We did V-Chain's price projection point, the pink line. She did exactly what she needed to do. Came out of the W formation, rise, took it out. Now we're in level one V-Chain. Level one V-Chain. We're expecting another move to the upside to form level two. Next projection point, 0 0.09. That's where I'm expecting it to go. V-Chain done. BNB, please. No worries, bro. Let me get that up for you. Here we go. BNB currently sat at I mean, look, you can see an inverted head and shoulders, which is a variation of a W. There's your pattern. Now we're waiting for price to break above the 50 and the 200. Once it does that, it needs to break out, come out of there, retrace, continuation to the upside. That's what we're waiting for. Okay. See, W formation. Technically, it didn't fail. Why? Because you still could have profited on this. A strategy that I use in Forex is I wait for the second leg of the W to form. Once it's formed and it turns to the upside, I'm entering right here. This is my entry. This is my entry right here. But that is really, I mean, I've pretty much, you know, I understand the entry. So I'm able to take positions like that. My stop is very, very small. All right. Make my entry, ride it to the 50 day and I'm out. You know, so there's no such thing as a failed W for me because I'm always going to catch the second leg. If the second leg comes to the 50 day, happy days. Problem is, is what I'm teaching you guys is you're waiting for the rise out, retrace, continuation to the upside. That's what I'm trying to teach you guys at the basic level because it's a pattern that does play out over a, a longer time frame as such, you know. Link, let's have a look at Link. There's no financial advice on this channel, guys. I'm just showing you how to make a pattern. What you'll find, guys, is that these patterns are going to be exactly the same across the board. You notice? Inverted head. Inverted head right there. Look what they did here, man. Look how they spiked price down to the low. Triggered all the shorts to show the rejection of the 50-day. And then, look, they returned price back up. What are we going to see here? One, two... Three to the upside. Next point, 30 bucks on the nose. That's where I'm looking at. Price projection, 30 bucks. Happy days. Next coin. CHZ. I did CHZ earlier on. Pattern predict pro projection. Projection. No predictions. <laughs> All right, Matic, I'll do it, man. Chills, man. Um, Chills is now actually pulling back from this W form. I mean, from down here, it's really small price action, though. Can't really do much with it. But yes, the M pattern is playing out. I'm expecting that at the 200-day moving average, price is going to bounce from this area. But nothing's really happening with Chills right now. There's no vector candles. It's not really showing me a move to warrant that a pattern's in play. It just looks like it's just trailing slowly and it may start forming something in this region here. We'll only know if it pulls out of the 50 day, okay? Matic, Matic I call it. <laughs> See, 
Same thing. Not necessarily. Not always forming off the wicks. Not necessarily. Here we go. Look. This could be a W formation, although the, the second leg is extended away from the first. So I don't really trust this. I would ideally want this to be the first leg. But before we can consider anything, it needs to show me if it's got any strength to close above the 50-day moving average to verify this pattern right here. Okay. This is true, Nanus. That is very true. Reef. Failure. Why is it a failure? Let's have a look. ICX. Let's have a look at ICX. Nah, man. Nah, look. Nice. See, that's a W formation that worked. W, rise, out. You're saying you couldn't have profited off that move. Off that huge move. Entry right there. Up it goes. Take your money and run. M pattern at the top there. Bring it down to the 15 minutes. Oh, my days. Oh, my days. That was my price projection. Look how close it was. Oh, shocking. Yeah, I've done Reef. Ah, no way. Look how close it was. Shit. I can't believe it didn't play out. Right now, Reef is actually showing me an interesting pattern. You know? Oh, yes, definitely. Reef's coming back. I believe Reef's coming back. Back to 0 0.04 price projection point. That's where I'm expecting it to go. It only on the basis that price breaks away from the 50-day and the 200-day don't cross over. All right? We need price to completely go over 50-day to turn back up. That's what we need for Reef. That's not financial advice, guys. OMI. Let's have a look at OMI. Oh, nice. Here we go. Well done, bro. Master T, you know. <laughs> I like that one. Here we go. Pins to the low. Pins to the low. Pins to the low. What do we know? Happy days. Yeah? Look at that, coming out of the W formation. Price projection. Wait for it to rise up, retrace, continuation. Price projection point, M4, right there. I'm looking for 542. Happy days. Yeah? Remember, guys, you're seeing this pattern appear quite a lot across the board now. Whether it works or not is a different story. That's what we're waiting for. A set of variables that come into play before we can commit our money to it. Do you understand that? Ren. There you go. Yet again. That's my price projection point for Ren. Hasn't done it in the first instance. What do we see? Pins to the low. Are you guys getting it now, yeah? Are you understanding that the patterns... Are we starting to see it? Talk to me. Yeah, it's a weird W. I've already done OMI. I've already done it. SNX. I've got my guy. My guy, Eddie. Ooh.
Patterns aren't playing out, man. They're not finished yet. Tyler, man. <laughs> Congratulations, you've chosen the red pill. Now we bring down the matrix, you deep guy. Thank you very much, brother. Okay, then SNX right there. We've got very, very tight formation down here. Whether or not it holds is another story. We've got to wait and see. It needs to break above the 50-day moving average. Hong Kong is going to... Sorry, Tokyo is opening very soon. You know? So when you see price break out of the zone, what are we waiting for? Waiting for the retrace, continuation to the upside. There is your pattern. Happy days. Yeah? That is what you're looking for, guys. Okay, then. Cake. And we do this every night, guys. How many people are new to the stream tonight? How many people? We've got 906 likes and 1,300 of you in the room. Happy days. How many people are new right now in the stream? Just want to know so I know my audience. You knew? Yeah. Yeah, I'm new and I clicked like. Thank you very much, Craig. Thank you very much. If you're new, guys, we do this every single evening, half past nine, well, between half nine and quarter to ten, and we just break down coins. We put out projections, okay? Do it all the time, guys, you know? So if you're happy with what we're doing here, please like and subscribe. You don't have to like, but you can subscribe. If you don't want to subscribe, at least like, or just do both, make life easier for everyone, you know? It's free to do. What we're giving you here is free of charge, guys. You know, I want to try and understand the markets more, so the only way I can do it is by teaching others, you know. So welcome to the family, guys. Cake. I'm just going to do cake and then I'm going to get myself another drink, which I didn't get when I first went on a break. So I just sat back and smoked my pipe. Here we go. This is a very sharp W formation. All right. We're waiting for price to rise. Retrace. Continuation to the upside. That's what we're waiting for. For cake. But it's no entry. There is no entry until price breaks above the 50-day moving average. Tonight, we're going to know if they're going to move the majors or they're going to move the alts. We're going to know for sure. Let me see. Bitcoin is holding their zone. I think... Hold on. I think they're holding the majors this evening. I think they're going to hold the majors and move the altcoins. That's what I think is going to happen. think that is what's going to happen, guys. Let's have a look. Why is every formation a W? Reason why it's a W, my man, is because we're catching the lows. We're trading off the lows. There's an M formation right there. Right? There's an M pattern. We take the M pattern, which is a variation of the inverted, is of the head and shoulders. Look. One. Two. Three, what do you know about an M formation? Let me draw it cleanly for you. Rise, drop, M formation. Happy days. Again, I've done chills, man. Chills has been done like four times. Let's have a look. Yep, nothing happening with chills, guys. Nothing happening yet. It's just stuck at a moving average right now. No pattern. I mean, if you want to class that as a pattern, but it's not because it's just at a 50-day move, 200-day moving average. The RSI is showing outside the volatility band is now coming back in. So, hold on, what's this? What do you think about the movement of Bitcoin after Hong Kong markets open? We already had a W pattern already in the hourly. Well, let's see, my friend. Let's see what happens with Bitcoin. Let's see. Let's have a look at mana. Light mana. One of the guys in the stream took this rise, retrace, continuation to the upside. He took that move, cleaned easy 50 racks. 50k on that move to the upside. What a G. 
took me by surprise. Welcome to Leverage. Hey, why is that message deleted, man? Okay, then. STMX analysis. Yorgos, how you doing? STMX. I'm looking at coins that I've never done before. That is wicked. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. Nice. That's what I want to see. I want to see coins like this that move. All the rest of the coins are forming. That means that they're all, you know, basing. They're all forming bases. Although this looks like an M formation. Let's see how it holds. Because, nah, to be fair, actually, it's coming out of nothing, to be fair. There's not much happening for me. It looks like an M pattern, but let's see how it plays out. I don't think it's going to continue to the downside. It's just coming out on news announcements. So the exchange that I recommend, yeah, is a bit ridiculous. All right, and this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make myself a drink before the Tokyo Open, and we're only going to look at Bitcoin and Ethereum, and then we're going to go back to looking at a couple of more altcoins. Wow, people are going crazy. Last coin before I go make my drink and give the chat a break. Here we go. Inverted head and shoulders. Coming out of the zone. Perfect. At the 200, at the fifth, uh, 800 day EMA rise. Breaking out the 200 day moving average, 50 day moving average. Testing the 200 day moving average. What are we waiting for? We are waiting for a price projection point is right here. That's what I'm waiting for. $40 on dot. $40 on dot. Once it breaks out of that zone, we're looking for a retrace. Continuation to the upside. Yeah? Cool. Right. Let's bring Fiat Leak up. See who's buying Bitcoin. I'm going to make myself a quick cup of char. And then we're going to get ready for the Tokyo. Tokyo, guys. It's going to make or break today. Blue Moon. I'm smoking Blue Moon. That's what I'm doing. Two sex guys.
always hurt the ones Hurt the ones you say you're so deep in love with You don't know nothing, 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 nothing You don't know what it feels like Baby, I'm hurting, 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 hurting And you don't even ask why Why I'm staying up all night I haven't said since you came into my life Why I'm drinking all the time Why I'm feeling lonely when you're here by my side I just want something, 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 something Something from you that feels right But I know nothing, 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 nothing Nothing will do, nothing's fine You tell me that you care for me But I don't think it's true All right, okay, what's happening? Right, listen, everyone's going crazy in the chat, okay? Yeah, granted, you want to see the coins and what have you, but there are people that I hear that want to understand the concept. If you want to just look at a coin, just Google it, you know? Go, there's plenty of other channels. I'm trying to teach you guys how to not lose money, okay? So if you just prefer a coin, go elsewhere, man. But if you want to learn how to read patterns, if you want to make money in this game, understand what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to get it so that you guys can pull off patterns at will, okay? And then become efficient and proficient so you can trade for yourself and earn yourself your keep. I'm not charging anyone for this stuff, man. You know, it's free of charge. Embrace it, absorb it, okay? And then do it, you know, pay it forward. You try and show someone as well, okay? Straight up. Let's start talking about this. Bitcoin up, Ethereum up, coming out of the zone. Happy days. What have we got? Tokyo is opened right now. I'm going to bring two charts here. We've got Ethereum right here. Is she coming out of the pattern? Bitcoin, what's she doing? There you go, coming out. Exactly as projected. <laughs> we like that. Let's see though. Let's see. Look, forming the pattern. Just sit back and watch. Forget putting coins. I will not put up any other coins. I'm not interested in other coins. Right now, we're going to follow the markets and we're going to follow the coins that move the markets. Okay? Follow the Ethereum, follow Bitcoin. That's all you need to care about. We're not interested in other altcoins right now. Why? Because this is where the money is going. Look at what's happening. Are we coming out of the zone? Yes, we are. Are the patterns playing out? So far, so good. Let's see. It looks like this M pattern doesn't need to be here anymore. Why? Because... Price is now showing me favoring to the upside. Here we go. There's my price projection point. If we hit it tonight, guys, I retire. I retire. And I'm glad to say that it's been an absolute fantastic journey with all of you. Okay? But I retire. I have been pulling too many projections for everyone. I've made everyone a ton of money. Now it's time for me to go on holiday. I finish. <laughs> nah, I'm fucking with you. I ain't going to stop this game. You got me for a long time. <laughs> nah, man. Relax yourselves. Relax yourselves. Here you go, guys. Price coming out the zone. Is Tokyo going to respond to this information? We've been holding price. This is where the context is. M-I-A-O. Yes. This is what we've been talking about. All right? This is what we've been talking about. All past two days, Bitcoin has been and Ethereum have been forming in these zones. Wow. M3 projection ready to come into play. M3 going to hit the projection of 1831. Is Bitcoin going to hit the M3? Projections are coming into play, guys. Sit back and enjoy the fucking ride. Here we go. Let's bring down the 15 minute time frame. Green candle. Happy days. There's your green candle coming out the pattern. There she goes. Look how beautiful that is. Here we go. Look at that. Look at that move, man. Happy days, man. We're actually, you guys, you guys, listen. Go through the previous streams. Go through the previous streams and you guaranteed. <laughs> You're my nightly date. <laughs> Critania. <laughs> nah, it's all good. I'm staying where I am. By the order of Critania. <laughs> Here we go. Look, first projection, 57,397 is going to come into play. 
Ethereum, 1816, the M3, said it in the projection video earlier on today. I posted that before this live. When you guys thought it was alive, that's messed up. But right now we're waiting, but there is no entry. Why? Because we're waiting for a retrace. I need her to retrace just to confirm that this move's not bullshit. All right? You can even use this. Look at Ethereum right here, guys. Look at Ethereum. Look at this pattern right here. You got a rise, retrace, forming the second leg of the W. Happy days coming out of the zone. Yeah? Let me close that out. Let me get rid of that. There we go, right there. There's your W. W within a W within a W. Bigger pattern. Happy days coming out. Yesterday's high. It needs to break yesterday's high right there, which is the M3. Rise up. Break out the first projection point, 1831. Once it hits that zone, retrace continuation to the blue zone, which is the previous zone from there. If it hits the blue zone, it's happy days, guys. We are chilling. Okay? Same with Bitcoin. You guys are seeing the projections play out. We need to wait for confirmation. Bitcoin, what's she doing? Here we go. Bitcoin rising up. Rising up. Oh, look at that move, man. That is crazy. Look at that strength. Do you see now the pattern, guys? Do you see when you follow the pattern, the confluence of patterns and the way price behaves at the moving averages? Now, the 50-day needs to cross above the 200-day moving average on the 15-minute time frame, which would be the one-hour 13-day EMA. Are we actually at the point where price now is going to continue to hit my projection point of 65K? And then progressively move towards 70. And the reason why it's going to hit 70 is because what? The average daily range of Bitcoin, okay, is 36,688. In a week, it can achieve 110,063 pips, okay? Look at where it is at 70K. It's 133,000, okay? So it can go over the ADR, but it's in line with the ADR times three, all right? It's not like it's nearly... 450,000 pips away, which is um, four times three times ADR. So in other words, it would need to move. If it was to get there, it would get there in four weeks. It would get there in four weeks time. It would take a month for Bitcoin to get to, you know, four times ADR, which would be four times ADR. 3,000. That would be, that would be 100K. There you go. That would be 100K. So you understand the power of the ADR. And when people make bullshit, you know, projections that don't make sense to people. There is projections right here that help you understand why price is going to go in a certain direction. It's in line with the psychology of price. Look, market makers are now coming out of the zone. The W formations are playing out. The pattern, the pattern, the pattern is playing out. Okay. Let's bring it back down here. Ethereum, what's she doing? Bitcoin. Now, all we do is we sit and we wait. We wait for the plan to play out. We're still in level one, correct? Yeah, we're still in level one. Still trying to form level one. When we formed level one, we need to have a clean break to the upside, retrace, which is why I'm looking at 58.532. 58532 would effectively be the first level that Bitcoin forms and retraces back to test and then retrace continuation to the upside. 58532 should effectively be Bitcoin's level one. Ethereum's level one should be 1831. When it hits that zone, it will retrace, come and test the 50 day and the two, no, come and test the 50 day moving average on both charts from both points. And then we have a move back to the upside. So we sit tight. We need to wait. Chatmaster. <laughs> yes, you always want to see the 50 day above the 200 day. Always. It's a move. The 50 day and the 200 day is used by so many institutions. It's used by the market makers, by the governments, pools, pensions, bonds, you name it. They use the 50 day. All right. They use the 50 day moving average price on a 50 day basis. 
Ah, yes. Keen to look at Forex. Let's have a look at Forex. Let's see what's going on in this zone right here. Let's get rid of that. There's projection one. Oh, by the way, this is when I'm doing this challenge on a small account. Matt, look at this. Do you see projection one? It hit it. Projection two, it hit it. And I've, I've loaded, I'm doing a swing trade right here. I'm just testing something out for a challenge. Okay. So these are the live entries on dollar yen. But that's it. <laughs> I can't show you any more financial advice and all that shit. <laughs> Obviously, you can stop the stream, but that's another story. If it doesn't, it will drop tremendous. Look, if it doesn't break... Look, I'm only worried if price breaks below this area here. Till then, I'm not interested in what it does. It can go down here. It can go here. It can do whatever she wants as long as it doesn't come down here. If it comes down here, happy days. We form another pattern. You know, I'm okay with being wrong. That's the problem with some people, right? They think, right, they're waiting for this pattern to be failed. So they can say, oh, yeah, your pattern's bullshit. <laughs> That's fine, bro. You know? Go and find me another system that is against the way it works. You know? You can't come into this game thinking that you can't be wrong. Shit, man. You can't. Guaranteed you will be wrong all the time. Yes, it works on higher time frames. Yes, it does. But you're going to be waiting a long time for patterns to play out on the higher time frame. Blue Moon. How can someone psychologically explain a failed pattern from the viewpoint of a market maker? Okay then, so this is how you do it. The viewpoint of a market maker is when he's finished gathering liquidity, he will let you know. When he isn't, the pattern will fail each time. All right? So when you see a W, okay, and the pattern doesn't co correspond to... So here we go, look. See, we thought that this was a W. We thought that that was a W. Well, it wasn't because the market maker isn't finished. He isn't finished gathering liquidity. So he brings it down another level. Now let's draw another W. One, two, three. Oh, looks like it's the W that we need. Oh, another W. Bang, up, another W. Rise up. We're waiting for the W to play out. Is the market, has the market maker finished building liquidity in this zone? The moving averages are flat. Everything is flat. It stinks of market maker behavior. You know, even if you consider, let's just have a look at a second. Hold on. Let's have a look at, I'm going to bring the chart up. Don't worry. I know I need to bring it up. Here we go. Watch this. Let's look at Ada for a second. All right. Look what Ada's been doing for a long time since the 11th. And we are now what? Nearly the 17th, 18th. Okay. They've been accumulating in this zone. They've been building. The only way we would have known this pattern was going to be failed is if it broke below the 800 EMA. So that's the first clue that market makers want this zone to stay here. Then when they come out of the zone, whether or not it's news or not, you know they've confirmed the zone. So what are we expecting now? We're expecting a retrace continuation to the upside. Okay? That's how you establish it. From a psychological standpoint, market makers, they don't have an interest in letting price going down any lower because if they do, they're going to trigger all the shorts that went short in this area. And biz market makers are not in the business of letting retail traders realize a profit in the millions. Okay? They're not interested in that. They want to make sure they'll give you a little bit, but they'll never let you satisfy a full move. Never. Remember, because they've got to keep you, you know, they've got to keep it keep you enticed they got to keep you in the game quick question do you nah they don't have leverage dude they don't get leverage <laughs> they can't get liquidated they open and they close look at it like this imagine if you own a shop and you need a float the market maker is the float he's the guy that always has the cash there's always a catch you always start a business with a bit of float and that's what the market maker is this is his business this is his shop and we are his customers now, whether we do business with the business owner is a different story. Yeah? We're in the business of doing business with the market maker. When he lays down his price, we take his price. When he buys at wholesale, we buy at wholesale. When he sells at wholesale, we sell at wholesale. 
We ain't buying at retail. Ha, <laughs> retail traders. Yeah? Do you get it? How you doing, crypto man? Blue moon, man. Blue moon. Smoking blue moon. Okay, so the um, the dashed lines. So these yellow ones are the Asian. So this green box is the Asian session. So from start to finish, right? So the Asian session starts from here and it ends here, okay? The dashed lines say the high of the session, the midpoint of the session, and the low of the session, okay? That's what that is. Perfect retrace, yeah. Still in the zone though, it's coming down to pin the 200 day moving average. Pay attention to it, look. Let's see what she does at the 200 day moving average. It will be so disgusting if she actually pulls away from, oh, there you go, she's dropped lower. Doesn't matter then. Oh, look, she's pinning it right now. Let's see how she plays it. Let's see how it plays out. Bitcoin as well, holding the zone. Pretty sure that Emma is playing a much longer game and milking all the people that have been holding since 3545. Just going to keep the zone for a bit. Yeah, true. That is correct. So if the market, yeah, if market makers see a higher price for ADA in the rest of the week, then Asia will bring bring price back down to induce shorts so that they can buy up longs to maximize profits when the price rises. So indirectly asking a question, yes, Merlin, that's exactly the concept. If they see a higher price, they'll say, hold on, let's move it up, get our shorts, okay, trigger the longs, right? Get our shorts filled at higher prices. Let's make a ton of money on the drop down. It drops down. What do we wait for? We always wait for the retrace. The retrace happens. Market makers then induce people to believe that they're buying the dip. They buy the dip. Then what do they do? They rise it back up, bring it back down, and then they form the pattern. Sorry. The retrace from the W formation. Sorry. Yes. So they rise it up, bring price back down, and then they continue back up for it. Okay. Which is the pattern. The tattoo is what we call it. Okay. Pin in the 50 day. Music is turned right down. Happy days. Look, it's tapping the 50 day. I project Ethereum will drop to 1760 before retracing back up out of the zone. Let's see. 1760. Let's see if it does. 1760 will be right here, which would be ooh, a bit of a shout there. Let's see if it does before it continues back to the upside. Happy days, you know? Oh, Kenny, I've been in a trade with Kiwi Yen where they held level two zone for three long days, man. It was the worst thing. Different colors for all the candles imply different changes in tick volume. It's how many times price exchanges at that point. It's not full volume on how many contracts are purchased. It's tick volume. How many times does it change hands? Because when price changes in a zone, it's a better, I, I'd say it's the only thing that we have because we'll never get true volume on these platforms, all right? So I can't say that, you know, X amount of contracts was purchased here because I'll never get that right figure with the, with the broker. But what we can know is how many times did it exchange hands, okay? So how many times was price at one point at a certain point in time? And look, they exchanged ever so frequently in this zone. That tells me market makers favored price to the downside so that they could get their longs at lower prices to close them on the way up. Yeah? I can't win with, these, with this music, guys. You want to hear what I'm saying? Forget the music. You can't predict how high it goes, but what you can do is you wait for it to break down from the moving averages. So when the five and the 13 EMA start to break down, that's when you consider it. Look, 
There you go. When the 5 and the 13 EMA cross over, you know you're breaking down. When price is approaching towards a 50-day moving average, go back, in the, go back into the channel and you'll see um, the video uploaded on how to exploit the 50-day uh, and the 200-day moving average, okay? Just understand, when price moves away from the moving average, it always comes back down to it. Look, price moves away the 50-day, comes back to test it. Price moves away from the 50-day, comes back to test it. My Forex strategy is based on that strategy alone, you know? It's just based on that concept. Look, price pulls away from the 50-day moving average, brings back in. Mean reversion. Go and research what mean reversion is. You know, it brings price back in. Standard D back into the game. Rising out of the formation. Rising away from the 50-day moving average. Comes back in. Yeah, your signal to get out is effectively when the 5 and the 13 day cross. Alternatively, you could use this RSI where you can see divergence building up. Look. There's your divergence. Price makes a high. The volatility. Price outside the volatility band. Back inside the volatility band. Yeah. Coming down. Crosses the signal line right there. You know? So many strategies, guys. There are so I've got literally 15 different ways to trade. 15 different ways. So many ways to trade. But it's all about adapting to whatever's happening. This is what you, I mean about as being a trader, right? You know, you need to be able to adapt to what's going on. You know? Don't be silly, Tommy, man. It's all good. Nah, it's not the same shit as last night. And you know what? Even if it is the same shit, happy days. We'll just wait for the next pattern. Why? Because there have not been any entries for us. There hasn't been any entries for us. We're saving our money, guys. You know? We're preserving the capital. There's no entry. I ain't buying into the market maker's bullshit. You know? He wants me to step in by giving me these big candles. All the moon boys are stepping in. Standard. But not us. No, we wait. We wait for the pattern to play out. Why is Bitcoin holding that zone and Ethereum is moving? You know? They're holding the zone. It's manipulated, man. They're just trying to trap out traders big time. On the one hour time frame, it holds more precedence. Yes, Alejandro, it holds precedence. When the one hour time frame shows a cross of the five going over the 13 EMA, that's a signal for the cycle. Yeah. Yeah, we gotta talk over a pint, Jordan. No doubt. I'm more top shelf. I like my whiskey. It has to retrace on the one hour time frame. Alright? However, if it retraces on the 50 day moving average on the 15 minute time frame, that's the 13 day EMA on the hourly. So what you're doing there is you're trading momentum. Yeah? Of course, Merlin. Merlin, you're getting it. You're getting it. You are completely getting it. Okay? What you need to now do is take that concept, eliminate ADA, get rid of the, co the coin ADA, and apply it to another coin. Go back and do it to other coins. Find a point where they've rose price, okay, and then they've pulled it back down, and then they've continued back up with it. Okay? Here's an example. Um, let's take Bitcoin. Watch this. You'll like this. So remember, yeah, look at where Bitcoin is right now, yeah? So it's in the in top 55s, yeah? Do you remember when a little bird... Where is it? When a little bird called Elon said that he was buying Bitcoin? Yeah? Well, look what happened. Price rose, okay? Elon was buying Bitcoin. Happy days. Everyone got really excited. Bitcoin making all-time highs. You know, moon boys were stepping in. Market makers facilitated that. Then what happened? Price collapsed. They trapped all those guys. Let me bring it back again. They trapped all those guys. And then they just collapsed it. And then if you look... From that point, they didn't allow it to go down any further. There it is. That's as low as they took it. All right. 
They'd made their money on those long, on those shorts from there. So they made started from there and they brought it all the way back down to there. You see that. So the same concept that you're applying right now, Merlin, go and take it and use it against other coins and project it. And you'll understand that's exactly the concept right there. That is effectively the theory. Yeah. Mm, Tokyo is stepping into the game right now. It's starting to mess shit up for us. Let's see if it holds. Look, coming back to test the 200 day. We anticipated this behavior. 800 day EMA coming back to be tested. But remember guys, look, the moving averages are flat. There's nothing happening. We are actively in a zone right now. See, right now what could happen is the following. Is this, from this M pattern up here, you can see rise, M pattern down, okay? Is this the continuation to the downside? We will only know if and only if this zone gets broken. If the zone gets broken, then we are in effectively a longer time frame swing to the downside. Look. Yeah, on the longer time frame. So there are so many instances that it can change. It can go in our favor, it can go against us. We are waiting with the finger trigger, waiting for shit to happen. Right now there is no entry. We have no interest to enter. Let's see how it plays out. Practice in patience, guys. Yep, Merlin, you're getting it, man. Do I think Ethereum's going to go to 2K? <sighs> My friend, based on what the pattern shows me, you know? Thank you, Jason, man. Courtesy of um, Mike Dutch, man. What is that? If I was in a t-shirt shop that sold five blur t-shirts, five blue t-shirts, five red t-shirts, and five green t-shirts, what would traders' reality into, into song be? <laughs> it would be exactly the same as what it always is in this stream, these, these songs. It's a huge candle, green candle, when they pump 10% in one candle. So at some point this week, they should see the return by bringing that price down to that place. A huge green candle when they pump 10%. On what time frame, dude? And um, which pair? Yes, we are um, complimenting you arranging the stream, sorting the stream visuals. Mo Gardi, what's good, man? Let's see. Yeah, apparently, no, um, Oanda. Oanda, I can't even say it, Oanda, Ananda, whatever it is, man. Someone called me out saying it's not Ananda. <laughs> Shit, man. Remember, we got Hong Kong coming into play, guys. Hong Kong is going to come into play in half an hour's time, okay? So we need to wait and see what Ethereum is going to do. Because look, Ethereum is flat across the board, man. It's not doing anything. There's no warrant for it to drop further or go up further. It's stuck in a zone. Am I worried the MMs will start using projections against me? I mean, look, let's look at it like this, guys. Yeah? Forex, okay, is six and a half trillion dollars on a daily basis. Turnover, 6.5 trillion, right? Crypto's 1.8 nearly, all right? Even if we had half a million people in this stream, it still wouldn't be enough to move the market. Why? 
because not everybody's going to trade the same time frame, nor they're going to trade with the same amount, nor they're going to trade the same coin, you know? They would never come to me or say anything to me about my projections. If anything, I'm making their life even easier because you guys are effectively going into the market and what are we doing? We are providing liquidity. Now, we're not going to make every trade successful. So the liquidity that we lose is going to the market makers' pockets. So if anything, they would encourage me doing this. And that's a conversation that I had with a specific individual, you know, with a different level of thinking. You know, it's very valid what that person said. Crypto wealth, that is a sound, sound assumption, bro. Yeah, Mike Dutch is going to be sorting new things out, guys. He's going to be sorting out some serious things, man. We've got big things happening for this stream. How would you interpret repeated big buy order spikes, wicks to the upside while price stays stable range bullish? That's what you call spikes to the high, to the low. They're taking out stops because traders come in and they draw right now. Yeah, there's traders that are actually drawing a range right now on Ethereum. They're actually drawing a range. All right. You know what? Let me just go over to. Let me go over to. Here we go. Look what Ada's doing right now. Ada's pulling back. All right. Ada's pulling back. Now, let me just go over to Ethereum just to demonstrate this point so you guys can understand. All right. So right now, there are guys who actively have drawn this zone. Right. Forget the W formation. There are guys who are breakout traders and have drawn this zone. Okay. And what they're doing is they're waiting for Ethereum to either break to the low or break to the high. They've got orders hit here and orders here. When you see price spike up and then come back down and the candle's just pretty much in the middle, it's because market makers are tapping that liquidity. They're filling those orders for those guys who've gone limit orders here, 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 and here, and limit stop orders that have gone here, here, and here. Okay? So that's the reason why, bro. They're not, it's not because it's a price rejection. There is no such thing as a rejection point in price. It's an area where the market makers take liquidity. There was money in this area here. It's not money was there and the market makers have shown, or should I say investors like, I'm not interested in this zone. You know, when they say supply and demand in the markets doesn't exist. Naturally, economically, in terms of theory, yes, but practically it doesn't exist because there is no such thing as a supply here or a no demand. Of course, there is a demand. Price was rising. The market makers controlled it by taking the orders and then pulling it back. That's how they make their money. They spike the high to take the liquidity that's sitting there like a dead fish and then they pull it back. You know, spike the high, pull it back, spike the lows, pull it back, spike the low, pull it back. They're using these li this liquidity here to get their orders filled of longs at a lower point to close them at a higher point. Getting their longs filled at a lower point, close them at a higher point. Get their shorts filled at higher points, close them at a lower point. Do you get it? This is what I go on about every single night, guys. I'll change up the music, man, don't worry. You shouldn't be bothered about the music. Harvel, listen, there's nothing wrong in thinking that, you know, absolutely nothing wrong in thinking that at all. Remember, we won't know what the market maker does until he does it. Yeah, we won't know what he does until he does it. So how do we know what he's going to do? We draw a pattern. If that pattern plays out, we've assumed that the market maker is now making price come out of that zone, you know? happy days we follow that pattern as i said to you earlier on we're either going to buy wholesale with the market maker and sell wholesale or you're going to be the like the retail trader and buy retail nice one toby bro
This is it. It is just a pool of orders. They see the orders, all right? Why? Because the dealers feed them the orders. Remember, the market maker is the guy who matches your order with his order. He needs to know where guys', is, guys money's at. Because if he didn't, then we would all be market makers. So the only way you beat them at their own game is you ride when they ride. You don't trade when the retail trader steps in. You don't sell ADO if... BitBoy says that it's going to 75 cents. You don't make your decisions based off that. You know, you don't. I've been in the game 11 years and I've only just come into crypto. I've been trading Forex for a long time. All right. And coming into crypto currency where effectively market makers are now just starting to come in. It's like I'm at the fair game with the market makers now. You know, it's not like I'm coming into their territory. It's like we're both stepping into a territory that is unknown. Happy days. You know, I feel like I've got an advantage with them because I know what they're going to do. You know, I just don't know when. I know what they're going to do, but I don't know when. That's the difference. Ride the coattails, man. That's exactly what it is, Daniel. Riding the coattails of the bigger players. That's exactly what it is. We ride the coattails of the players who are the, you know, the powers that be. There you go. Bitcoin's pattern is still forming nicely. There you go. Happy days. I was a victim of a 7k drop since then. Joined your stream and haven't lost a trade yet. Wow. So you, do you guys understand now why? Are we talking about billionaires? No, trillionaires, my friend. <laughs> These guys have an abundance of money. This is their business, all right? So the float for their business. Imagine every time an order is placed, the market maker is there to make the market. Can you imagine? How many thousands of orders are fulfilled every second? You've got to have some deep-ass pockets, man. Serious pockets. And listen, guys, if you're new to the stream, right, or you're new to trading, please take it seriously. You know? Blunt force turtle, stay where you are, my friend. That's all I can say to you. Tino, how do you distinguish... Merlin, I'm loving these questions that you're asking. How do you distinguish between a pattern that is a trap and a pattern that will play out? The pattern is a full trap. The whole thing is a trap. All right? Let's look at this. Let's bring it back to school to help you understand the concept of a pattern being a trap. Um, the best place for it is okay here we go pay attention to this area here guys all right so price is dropping happy days we know that when price is dropping market makers are buying 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 okay the vector candle appears all right so this is the start of the trap. So they've taken out this previous low. The vector candle appears. They now push price down to the lows. Everybody's going crazy. Oh, shit. You know, Ethereum's dropping, dropping. Right. Market makers have triggered the psychological influence of a sell. Market maker now gets his buys orders. Buy orders placed. The trap is here. It forms a low. It bounces back up. Takes out the stop losses of the guys who went short. Now, granted, it didn't really drop too much. So the stops may not have triggered. He may not have triggered many stops because not many people may have gone short in that zone. The liquidity may not have been enough in that zone. All right. So what does he do? He comes back and takes as much of the liquidity as he can up to that point. Or in other words, stops were only put up to that point right there. OK, now that granted, there are obviously other guys whose stops are up here or even up here, even up here. Okay, 
So what they do is they trigger more guys to go down short. Pay attention to the longer candle frames, candlesticks right here. Can you see it? Let me just move this. Notice, pins to the low, pin to the low, pin to the low. They're grabbing the liquidity, fulfilling the desire of the retail trader that it's dropping. So there are a lot of retail traders that are thinking, yeah, baby, I'm, got, I'm short Ethereum. I've got a stack and a bit. Happy days. And before you know it, they spike price back up and they try and move out of the zone. Now, as a trader, okay, I'm watching this thinking, right, they're trapping them right now. They're trapping them. The trap begins here. This is where the trap is, which is the second leg of the W formation. The second leg of the W formation initially in, um, triggers the guys who went long, sorry, went short in the first place and got stopped out, allows them to another chance to get back into the downside. And then they reverse price and bring it all the way back up, fulfilling the previous orders of longs. And then they continue all the way up. Notice. Notice. Previous candle went long, realize a return on the highs, went up. Yep, and then they continued up from that point. Yeah, hope that helps you, man. You're asking fantastic questions, Merlin. Too many lines, too many lines, I need to zoom in. I need to delete some of these lines, let me get rid of them. Okay then, cool, let's get rid of that. Get rid of that pattern. Clean up these lines a little bit for you. We know what patterns we're looking for. Okay, cool. to the low work in the 800 day EMA Bitcoin is yet to realize anything on its fit on the 200 days at the 200 day moving average which is the 50 day moving average on the hourly okay so we really need price to just stay in this zone and in this zone as well sorry so if you're saying the truth in there, you're, gonna... you're not getting scammed MK Sorry, yeah, so the market, yeah, you're not getting scammed. This is their business model. We're coming into their business. We're trying to take advantage of their business, you know? And that's how it is. We're trying, look, oh God, look at that. See, you see how fast that candle is? Do you see how fast that candle was right there? It's these sort of things that you need to pay attention to. Intention. See how fast it went back up there? You know, that's a market maker movement right there, man. They're trying to, they're trying to hold a zone because they're inducing traders to go short. So what do they do? They tr quickly change the trend and flip it on the backside. Yeah, nobody. Your question. Um, principally, yes. Ada's candle, right? Ada's candle at some point is going to come back down to retrace. Yes, it will. Okay, let me just quickly bring it up for you. Ada will come back down and retrace this green candle. It will take either the half of it or full. Why? Because the 50 day needs to be realized. They need to bring price back into the zone. I mean, if it continues to go up, then bloody hell, they, they, need, they want price to keep going. Okay, but there is going to be a reset. They need to bring price back down to imply intention and then continue to the upside again. No, no, King Chula, you trade when price is coming away from the 50 day. So you want to catch it as it's coming away. Don't trade it as it's away from it because you've missed the move, you know? 1,500 of you in the room, guys. Honestly, thank you so much. If you're new to the channel, I'd really appreciate if you liked and subscribed to the channel. Got big things coming for you guys, man. We do these streams every single night. 
So, well, not every night. We've got a schedule. So we'll be streaming tomorrow night, Wednesday, and we do Thursday, Friday. And on a Saturday, I do a Forex masterclass for the members and the Patreons only. So we do that in the morning. And that's really just an opportunity just to really dive in to, you know, foreign exchange and ask questions and just, you know, talk about strategies. This week, last week, we talked about the one minute scalp um, scalping strategy. Okay. This week, I got a bit of a surprise for you because I'm currently in a challenge where I'm trying to do it again, where I'm taking 125 pounds and try and make a return of at least 5k from it. We did it with a thousand. So we got a thousand pounds from 125 quid. That video's in the chat in the playlists under how to grow a small Forex account. I'm trying to do it again, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to merge it over to cryptocurrency. So I'm just starting off with dollar yen and then I'm going to merge it over into cryptocurrency. So half Forex, half cryptocurrency, and we'll see how it plays out. But I'm documenting the whole thing so you guys can watch it. So it'll be good fun for you. There you go. Engine is coming out of the zone. Engine's coming out of the zone. Are we moving? We are moving, aren't we? We're moving the majors and the alts. Here we go. Here we go. Man, this pipe is nuts. My wife said I'm getting spammed. <laughs> All right, so the first, that video I did with the how to grow a small Forex account, I started off with a leverage of 500 to 1, okay? And in 106 trades, I realized 700% return. But the video is showcasing to you not my ability as a trader and, you know, how much money I can make with a small amount. It's about understanding consistency with leverage. You know, if you do it properly, you can make returns. 500 to 1 leverage, 106 trades, realize a 700% return. Go and watch that video. It explains the concepts. Let me find that video for you. Two seconds. It explains and helps you understand there's one mistake that you can't be making on that, you know, when you're trading that strategy, when you're using leverage, sorry. And the problem with leverage, man, it's, it's literally, it's a monster. Leverage will eat you alive. It will take you, oh God, it is unbelievable. If you don't know how to use leverage, guys, I, I do a little bit of homework. Here's the link, guys. Dimitrios, nice to have you, my friend. Yep, I'm going to quickly go on a little bit of a tea break. If we can get the likes up, happy days. <laughs> I've posted the link right there. I'll post it again. I'm going to spam the chat with the link so you guys get access to it. Mods, please do not get rid of me. <laughs> No worries, Ahmed, man. Thank you, bro. Love from Pakistan. Nice one, bro. Yes, it is. Halit. Halit, it is. Yeah, so that big green candle effectively is going to allow them to accumulate um, more ADA on the long side. Why? Because everyone got hyped up with it, didn't they? So they got shorts at a higher price. Now they're going to realize a profit from it. Whilst they're realizing a profit from it, they can build their longs at the same time. That's how it work. works. <laughs> how do we know if we're in a zone or not? Well, look, how do we know we're still in this peak formation zone? Simple. If price comes down here, price comes down to 1727, we're still in the zone. If it goes any lower, we're then looking for another formation. And that's the brutal side of trading. If you haven't got the patience to wait for price to perform, trading is not for you guys. Sorry. And that's straight up talk. 
you know if you haven't got the patience to wait for a pattern to play out you can't be in this game guys you're either going to be trading and only be earning anything between a 45 and a 60 percent win rate or you follow this strategy where you're increasing the chances of hitting at least 75 percentage win rate or plus i'm not going to say 100 percent well i actually can say 100 percent because pc shared has done 48 out of 48 several times so happy days <laughs> Can't hear the music, I'll turn it up ever so slightly. Don't want to have it too loud. Matthew, the retrace break to the upside out of the zone hits 4 a.m. for the M4 stop hunt. It's 4 a.m. stop time. I'm going to pull the instance. What are, you, what are you asking me, Matthew? Hold on. The retrace break to the upside out of the zone hits 4 a.m. Stop hunt time. It's 4 a.m. What do you mean 4 a.m.? Confused by that question, Matthew. What is the name? Well, look, Josh, if you, yeah, you do have to wait. But the reason why people take these trades, and there's a lot of people that are making trades, because they understand, you know, these are short term entries. They're taking short term entries. I'm a short term day trader. That's me. You know, I, there, there are many trades that I could take purely off this zone right now, but I don't take those trades. Why? Because it's a little bit of a experience, in, you know, it's experience that allows me to take trades. But I'm trying to show you guys, you know, the highest chance of winning on a pattern. And that's my interest. Naturally, as you get used to the pattern, you'll then start exercising different types of trading methods. Like, or should I say entries? But let me get you proficient in this methodology where you're waiting. Because if you can't learn to wait, all right, you're going to be in a position where you're not going to know when to close a trade. You know, you need, to, you know, swings and roundabouts. You know, if you're not in a position to wait for a trade, then you're not going to be in a position to close a trade that's losing. You're going to always be wanting to hold it, you know, and you haven't got the patience to just close it and wait for the next trade. Do you understand what I'm saying? You know? Yeah, Mike Dutch is going to do an after show as well, guys. So make sure you hit up Mike Dutch afterwards. All right. Make sure you go and see Mike Dutch. All right. So, for example, if price hits the 58.532 zone, all right. The moving averages will be quite extended. So if it hits that point, get out. All right. And if the moving out, if price is fanned away from the moving average, guys, all you're waiting for is price to come away from the moving averages. That is the strategy. That's all it is. And if you want to establish whether or not to take a trade, take a profit, what you do is you wait for the 5 and the 13 EMA on the 15 minute time frame to break down. All right. Or you can wait for the hourly to break down. But frankly, that takes a little longer than it does on the 15 minute time frame. Your goal is to be profitable. Realize a return. Happy days. Hong Kong in 10 minutes, guys. Hong Kong in 10 minutes. Yeah, how many people are new to the stream right now? Is anybody new that's just popped in? Please let me know if you're new to the stream.
Wicked. Welcome to the stream, guys. Welcome to the stream. If you're completely new to trading crypto, guys, I'm completely new to trading crypto, right? But I'm pretty much, I mean, I've got 11 years of understanding the Forex market with the market makers in there, all right? Now, you should see the patterns that play out in Forex. They're beautiful, okay? Thank you, Zach, man. However, cryptocurrency has only just recently adopted the concept of big player money. You know? Big player money is coming in. All right? Now, what we got to understand is, can this is when I started the stream six weeks ago nearly, all right? I was trying to see whether or not cryptocurrency can market makers, do they operate the same way they do in Forex? And it looks like they do, you know? It looks like they do. So, you know, I'm new to it as much as you guys are, right? Brandon, you're not understanding a single thing you're saying. You said we are waiting for it to go down after it goes up and to get in, but then you just say we're waiting. Yes, Brandon, if you're looking at it, if you're trading it from this position right here, then of course you're going to be waiting to go up and it's going to go back down. I'm talking about the bigger pattern here. We're talking about this big W right here. We're waiting for price to come out of the zone. This is the projection point. It needs to come out of here. Granted, you can take these little trades, these little patterns, but I'm talking about the bigger pattern because there's a pattern within a pattern, okay? It would help you if you go and watch the previous streams, my friend. That's the only way you're going to learn it. There are guys that have done that and they're absolutely killing it. It's all in there for you, Brandon, man. If you still don't get it, bro, just message me, man. Axel, yes. This is what I, I, I do this for a, a living. And I look after my daughter as well. I get up early doors in the morning. I try and catch the last third of the Hong Kong session where it's going to show me where they're going to start the stop hunt rise, stop hunt low before the London session. I trade that and then I'm finished for the day. And then I'm looking after my daughter. So my mistake was I had too much time to trade. So I'd make money in the morning and then I'd be break even or I'd lose by the end of the day. So now what I do is I... I confine my trading to a set amount of time, okay, in the morning where I'm catching most liquidity, and then I trade that, and then I'm finished for the day. I'm done. I, I witness so many positions play out, so many projections that I do based on the charts, and they just play out every single time, and then I don't take them. I take what I want from the morning. That's all I take. Why? Because the exchange from Asia to Europe, it's a big opportunity to make some peas. You know, and that's how it's done. That's that's how I've developed the habit of being consistent because the longer I trade, the more money I'm going to lose, as in in a day basis. I'm in and I'm out, done. Do that every single day. You'll understand the concept of compounding. The Asian session finishes round about, it's about 7 a.m. UK time. I project Streamlabs won't be a moderator on the next stream. Let's see how it plays out. <laughs> so London, well look, Hong Kong sets up the session for each session, all right? So Hong Kong sets up the zones and then gets on the phone to you from, to Europe and says, yo, what's up? We've managed to trap 800 million up here, 200 million down here, go figure. So UK will then move price into the liquidity zones. When US opens, it will realize what the UK have done and it will either continue or reverse. Okay. <coughs> That's how it is, guys. I'm trading, see like... I'll finish this stream about in about 10, 15 minutes time, okay? And I'll get up at about half six, quarter to seven, depending on what I'm seeing with dollar yen or kiwi yen 
or euro usd gbp usd you know i'll see what's moving the majors or the minors all right see which crosses are coming into play if there's nothing for me i'll just go back to sleep but 19 no granted nine times out of ten there is always something for me to grab whether it's five pips 10 pips 20 or 50 if price is moved extended away from the 50 day moving average and if it forms a zone i'm looking to get into trade back to the 50 day i'm in the trade for what 30 40 50 minutes if i haven't realized the profit within two hours of placing the trade i'm closing the trade i don't care if it goes into profit afterwards within two hours i'm out of the trade and that discipline has helped me save a lot of money guys I'm waiting for Hong Kong, guys. I ain't going to be looking at other coins. I'm waiting for Hong Kong because that is where they bring the money. Okay? That is where they bring money. Get ready, guys. Pay attention. Stop worrying about other coins, guys. Focus on what they're doing on Bitcoin and Ethereum because, granted, they're going to make that happen across the other coins. You know, if I notice something with ADA, I'm going to let you know. You all right? I will let you know what they do. But guys, have you enjoyed tonight's stream? Anyone new? Let me know if you've enjoyed tonight's stream, man. Let me know because I can sit and talk for days about trading. Darfex, look, man. Trading, is it investing or trading? And is leverage needed advised as a market as volatile as crypto? Frankly, you need to understand what leverage is. Mike Dutch can give you a clear cut explanation of what leverage is in tonight's stream that he does ask him the question about leverage the guy is a book he is a book it's like he went over to buy you know bit buy or bit bay what is it well i'm not interested in what it is but you know what it is right he went over there and before he opened an account he asked for the terms and conditions on how they apply leverage and he studied it and he memorized it and he applies it ever so well so go and ask mike dutch so you've got a bit of a challenge mike you're gonna get spammed to shit about leverage 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 <laughs> can you check lev lev <laughs> they're not um Yeah, you've enjoyed the stream, wicked. That's good, man. Mike, Mike, put your channel up, guys. Mike effectively does. He's like the after show. It's the after show of this channel, you know? So we're going to be doing all sorts of things, guys. Like, I'm going to be doing some gaming with the Patreons. We're going to be setting up gaming sessions on Twitch where I get to, you know, I can cuss, I can do whatever and say whatever on there and just go absolutely crazy because Call of Duty is my vice, man. I, I go nuts on that. I haven't played it in a long time, to be fair, because I've been busy streaming. You know, happy days to streaming, but, you know, please talk more about your discipline. All right, I'll get to that in a sec. Hong Kong, here we go. Hong Kong is open, guys. We're going to see the true intention if Hong Kong are going to move price out of the zone. You know, let's see if they do it. Talk about discipline. I mean, look, what do you determine as discipline if you don't have the patience to wait for a pattern where I get smoked, you know, jaded blur? I knew you would say something, bro. I knew you would rip something. Just to let you guys know, me and Jaded Blur are going to have a battle on Call of Duty. We've been letting it brew for a little while. We've kind of pulled back a little bit and not said anything. But my guys decided to drop a little lyric. When I get smoked, come on, bro. Come on, man. You know? Don't get me started, bro. <laughs> I'm coming for you, bro. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> What's good, Mark? How you doing, brother? Mike will put up the, the stream. If, guys, listen, just join the Discord. Join the Discord, okay? Because we've got it set so that anytime me or Mike do something on YouTube, it uploads to the Discord in the announcements, okay?
No, um, Eric, because of the time frame I trade, I have always got an opportunity to trade. Always got an opportunity to trade, man. There's never a time where I don't have an opportunity to trade. You know, can always find an entry. Mike, put the link for your channel, bro. Yes. Here we go. Let's see what they do to Bitcoin and Ethereum. Let's see if they collapse or let's see if they continue to the upside. Are the market makers done with holding this zone? Nine a.m. Half nine. Yes, give or take. The two-hour rule. Okay, so the basis of the two-hour rule is this, guys. When you place a trade, if you haven't realized a return within two hours, okay, you need to close your trade to preserve your capital and move on to the next trade. For example, all right, four candles make up an hour on the fifteen-minute time frame. Okay, so fundamentally, if you had traded this breakout of the 50-day moving average say you traded the break of the 50-day moving average right you would need to be out of the trade if it didn't realize a profit within two hours so you entered here all right so first first 15 minute candle one two three four that's your one hour five six seven eight you've realized a return so hold your trade okay don't wait for it to drop all the way down. Obviously, maintain, you know, your profits, okay? But you've realized the return within two hours. Happy days. The trade went well for you. You entered on momentum, all right? But let's say you entered on... Let's say you entered on this break. Uh, no, make it easier. Let's say you entered on this break for confirmation, okay? One, two, three, four five six seven eight look where you are okay you're at eight candles which is two hours from the entry right there you need to close the trade and work on another trade why not because there's this candle here that's dropped down okay granted it could have continued up but you would have been out of the trade and you would have waited for a confirmation for it to break above and continue but look how that two hour rule would have saved you a ton of money why? Because had you have held, you would have sat through this bullshit, all right? And you would have sold and then it would have returned all the way back up and gone there and completely taken your entry point as well, okay? So that's the two hour rule, man. That is the two hour rule. Tino, I haven't enjoyed this at all. I'm going to BitBoy for Moons and Lambos. <laughs> Happy days, man. Yeah, you can. Yeah, Kaiser Caesar. Listen, you can do that, man. If you've got the patience to wait for a daily candle, then boy, man, you, you, you'll do so good at this, even on the lower time frame. Bitcoin moving. Two hour rule doesn't make sense. Yeah, well, you know what? If it doesn't make sense to you, bro, then I don't know what to say to you. It works for me and it saved me a ton of money. I mean, can anybody vouch for the two hour rule? Let me know if you think it, you know, how does it not make sense? Let me know, man. Yes, we need BitBoy because when he hypes up all his um, followers, when they're stepping in, we're getting ready to go short. Lars, this is technical analysis, my man, but there's psychology behind it. There is, it is technical analysis, but not fundamentally where it's like price is going to hit you know, support and resistance zones. Like this is support, this is support, it's bullshit. These are spikes to the high. You know, they're tapping liquidity and bringing it back down. Why is it they tap a high and pull it back, tap and pull it back? Because they're profiting from the liquidity points. Technical analysis, basing it on, you know, when you say technical analysis, for me, I've been there. 
You know, I've been there and why have I come away from it? Because it doesn't work in the long run. I'm only realizing a 50% return. I've got better odds playing blackjack, you know? This strategy, applying the psychology, when you understand what they're doing with people's orders, forget technical analysis, you've got the edge. You understand that you're pretty much seeing where they're putting money and where they're getting rid of it, you know? If you base it solely on technical analysis, let me give you an example. So here we go, technical analysis. Do you remember earlier on guys when I drew that range? Yeah, let's go back to that range. This will make so much sense to you now and it will pretty much throw away the concept of technical analysis. Where is it? See, trading view don't do it. Okay, look at this. Can you see the ranged box, yeah? Can you see the ranged box? Now, there were traders that were trading this range waiting for a breakout, yeah? All right then, so where was their breakout? Technical analysis says if it pins it, breaks out, put your orders at the top here, break out, you've got your entry, happy days. But look what happened. Broke out, took out their liquidity, brought price right back down, took out all their stops. Did exactly the same here, broke below, took out all their orders. Now they're coming back up to take out the stops. But what we understand is psychologically what they're doing is they're tapping the orders so that they can get ready to move price to the higher point. Pin to the low, pin to the low, pin to the low. Three pins, market maker behavior, you know? But, you know, other guys, they do earn off technical analysis. Remember, guys, this is a different school of thought, man. You know, this is a different school of thought. Understand, yes, granted, Zebra, the Deco Costa, yeah. Technical analysis is driven by psychology, right? But market makers exploit that because they know there are guys like us watching and trying to capitalize on on moves that are technically sound when they're not they're all psychologically driven when price hits a high look at this price price spikes up right that candle was full beforehand how many people went in long yeah how many people's orders were in there bang how many guys went long here thousands bang they, re they re reversed it back bang dropped you know it's killer, man. Yeah, W, look, technically, yes, they are physical. There is technical analysis. We are using action as a form of analysis. It's an action is a result. We're not saying fundamentally that Ethereum at 1780.33 is a fair value. We should expect it to go to 1816 in the near future. You know what I mean? Based on its earnings or whatever bullshit, right? We're basing it off price, how the market makers move price, you know? And also, guys, listen, if you've messaged me on the Discord, I'm, I'm trying my hardest to get through them. I've got like 400 messages I need to get through, so I'm trying my hardest to get through them, guys. So please bear with me, all right? I'm going as hard as I can. But I want to bring you these videos and these live streams. So please forgive me if I'm not responding back to you straight away. Because I know some of you guys think I'm ignoring you. I am not. You know, I'm old school. I want to acknowledge every single one of your messages. All right. How you doing, Jayma? When you're doing long swing trades, a two hour, yeah, it doesn't really apply. No, crypto wealth, it doesn't apply, man. When you're swing trading, two hour rule does not apply. If you're holding a trade for the next three, four, five, even a week, the two hour rule is BS, you know? But I'm a short term day trader. I place my trades in the morning, I'm out even, what, well, in the same morning, or I'm out by the end of the day, okay? Two hour, you either hold a trade for five hours, six hours that is it two hour rule so you've taken nearly half of that you know a third of it do you understand two hour rule does not apply if you're a long-term trader the market makers have the whole control yes because they make the market 
it's the market maker the only listen the markets only exist because the market makes it you know the market maker look at the name itself market maker when you come to buy i am there to create the market for you you exist your position exists because of me that's what the market maker is doing because he matches your liquidity with someone else's can we yeah can we get the likes to 1400 a milestone that'll be awesome guys just before we finish He has 30,000 subscribers on OnlyFans and they're all moon boys. <laughs> that is crazy. No worries, Arena. No worries. Oh man, I miss those. You're watching Fiat Leak, yeah? Two hours makes sense. Big. Here you go, mate. It's right here. That's the link to how to grow a small Forex account. No worries, Darmish, man. No worries. Pay attention to what Ethereum's doing, guys. Coming out of the zone. She's forming a low. Bitcoin holding that zone. Usually what happens is when I finish the stream, the AI mode kicks in and then they start moving price. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. <laughs> we crypto Ned. <laughs> I will thank you later, bro. Yeah, Hong Kong futures opens in 70 minutes. This is it. I'm going to sit tight for that and then I'm going to bounce, guys. Well, I might go sooner, it depends. How do you become a day trader? You open a trade in the morning, close it by night. You're a day trader, my friend. I can't tell you what's going to happen, guys. Remember, theoretically, there is no entry for us until the pattern is realized. So we're playing a waiting game. The pattern, they could actually reverse price tomorrow by New York session. Who knows? Posted the link again for you. Let me spam it. There's the link. Ace Boogie, how you doing, man? No worries, my friend. Thank you for passing by, man. Just go to the pin the t um, pin the chat. Sorry, the chat that is shit, man. Go to the top of the chat. It's pinned to join the Discord or just go into the description of this video and all the links that you need are there, guys. Sorry, how did you personally make the decision to become one? Ah, uh, why did I decide to become a trader? In the first instance, I wanted to make money. And then I realized that I was losing too much of it. So then I asked myself, do I really want to become a trader? What do I understand about it? When I thought to myself, hold on, the end result, freedom, great, happy days. Is that enough? Or do you want to understand the science behind trading? And it's only when I decided to study more of the science behind it and try and understand why 95% of people lose in this game, I felt like if I could crack something that everybody loses at, happy days. So, all being well with God, we are where we are. Yeah, we're going to get these questions done on the podcast, guys. We're going to be running a podcast. You know what? Yeah, listen, guys. P 
people, yeah, okay, so you're tired for working for the man, you know, you're tired of the nine to five, but let me tell you the importance of the nine to five, it allows you to maintain focus, yeah, it keeps your eye on the goal, that's if you put it on the goal, because if you're going to your nine to five every day saying, ah, oh, you know, forget this job, I don't want to be here, I don't want to be here, I just want to trade, I just want to trade, okay, quit your nine to five, take one month's wage, step into trading, and we'll see how badly you want to go back into your nine to five, do you understand what it is to have the pressure of your bills that need to be covered by trades? You don't understand what that is, guys, until you put yourself in that position. You know, I made that mistake. I stopped working and I traded. I jumped in at the deep end. And did I succeed? No, I didn't. No one does. You know, and if anyone tells you, yeah, I simply stopped working, I started trading, they're lying to you, bro. They probably had a couple of hundred mil behind their back or hundred grand behind their back when they did it, you know? I've known guys that have saved up hundreds of thousands of pounds and they went straight into day trading and blew it, you know? So you use your nine to five as a means to come away from the market. So come back in the evening, study what you study, go back to work the next day and you've got time to reflect. You know, you've got time to reflect on the information that you've absorbed the night before, okay? And then as you start saving your cash and you start saving it, you become proficient in the strategy because the goal is to become proficient in this game, not make money. Believe me, don't make the mistake of thinking you're coming into trading to make money. No, you need to come into trading to understand how it works. All right. Do you think, you know, surgeons become surgeons because they want to make the money that a surgeon makes? Nah, they want to save lives. They want to master the craft of cutting someone up and replacing it with something, you know, or just, you know, saving people's lives. That's the motivation. It's not all about the money. The money is the end product for me. That's why I'm doing this for free, guys. I don't have any interest in charging you people for a course and I'll never create a course, you know, because you just can't put, you can't put to words what I'm talking about. And granted, you guys wouldn't benefit from a course. Why? Because it will be a structured thing, start and finish, then what? What happens then? So I'm going to give you a course that's going to help you make so much money. No. It doesn't work like that. You go through the streams. Like I said, if I were to stop trading, okay, you would have enough. If I stop streaming, you guys would have enough in this stream's library of videos to grant you guys to be able to understand how to trade. Okay. All right. And here we go. What we got here? Bitcoin. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look what they're doing. Look what they're doing. They are hammering this zone. I think we're going to have another bounce break to the low. They need to hold this zone right here. This zone needs to hold. It needs to hold. I mean, you look back on the bigger picture, it doesn't look like it's doing much anyway. But we're zoomed in so we can respond accordingly to that. Bitcoin going to zero. <laughs> How many times did I hear that shit, man? How low can we go? Who knows? You got the logo, Mike. Wicked. Guys, it's going down. <laughs> oh, I love it. This is the beauty of only entering on confirmation. You can sit back and let everybody get squashed. You're just waiting for the liquidity to build up. Happy days. I know, it's brilliant, isn't it? Make it happen, Mike, because I'm ready to go to bed. <laughs> not necessarily the retrace. Not Technically, yes, the retrace from that point would be valid. Yes, it would be a valid retrace. Well done for spotting that, bro. That's exactly what it is. It will retrace continuation to the upside. That's what we're waiting for. Look at this pattern here. Because it's a valid retrace. Back to the 50-day. Pin the 50-day. Rise. That's what we're waiting for. This is what we do. We wait for the pattern. 
No financial advice, guys. I'm just guiding you in terms of patterns. Please recognize it. You know, you are only responsible for your trades, guys. Sweet dreams, Tino. Thank you very much, man. You guys are responsible. You can't be coming up in here, placing trades and blaming it on people. You ain't ready for this game if you're blaming someone else. First thing, first rule of trading is claim responsibility. You are in charge of your money flow. All right? You are in charge of it. Don't be going over to anyone on YouTube, looking at them. If they hype it up on their, you know, on their thumbnails, 10x, 5x, 20x, don't fall for that bullshit, guys. Okay? Why don't you see anyone talking about that with stocks and shares? No, you don't. Because the people that trade stocks, they are sound traders. There's no hype on there. You know, there's no hype when you trade in stocks. All right? And there's no hype trading Forex either. Why does crypto get the hype when it's such a sound market? You know? This is what gets me, man. Have a nice night, my friend. Thank you. Game stonk. You know what I mean? Jason, I can't give you no advice, bro. Paul, principally. Principally, yes. Carlos, granted, that's the one thing I'm guilty for. Merlin, the best way I can encourage you to do this is to go back and look at price, draw the pattern and assume where you would make your entry. Train your eye to get used to seeing the entry, then test it, pay it forward, all right? Go to the price, go to a pattern, wait for it to happen and enter with the most minimal amount of exposure. Guys, trading is about survival. You're entering the arena right here, guys. This is the hardest, easiest way to make fucking money, all right? And if you're coming into it and you don't know your tools or you don't know what's what, for example, if you don't understand how to really use leverage, you're gonna get caught, man. You're gonna burn your monies. All right, because the market makers do a great job of sucking you in and making you place entries where you know down right it's not the right entry. Okay, it's very tempting. This is a serious game and there's no one really out there saying it. You know, they just say, you know, hey guys, you know, <laughs> fucking, you know, trade with no emotions. You know, be a dead person when you're trading. Better yet, be a robot. You know, enter here, exit here, happy days. I mean, come on, man. I get that they're trying to market something, but shit, man. You can't mislead people into believing that. It's just as simple as forgetting your emotions. Don't chat shit. It winds me up. This is why I'm doing what I'm doing. Because there are guys that are exploiting the, the thimble approach that a new person has when they come into this game. Everybody comes into this game with the best intentions, man. They all wanna make money. They all wanna change their lives. They wanna help their mothers, their fathers, their families. They wanna take the world with it. You know, they wanna put it on their shoulders and they wanna just move forward with it. I get it, but the market maker doesn't give a shit. You are nothing to him until you put the money down. That's when you're important to the market maker. You can be whoever you want. You know, at the end of the day, your liquidity to the market. It's down to you how you decide how it is used. You either use it and jump on his back or he takes it as a profit. That's on you guys. Look guys, I can't I can't hide shit here, man. You know, I can't hide it from the I hide from the fact that it's Yes, this is it. Anyone that says, look, there, I'll tell you why this ca you can predict price. Oh, wow. Pay attention. Pay attention. Pay attention. Are we coming out of the zone? This is why you can predict. I tell you why. Because human behavior does not change. 
it's the same shit, right? Human behavior is always the same. Fear and greed are the two indicators that the market maker uses, all right? The two indicators. I've enjoyed tonight's stream. Three pins to the low. Here you go. One, two, three pins to the low. You've effectively got one big pin there, two, three pins to the low. Four, well, yeah, one, two, three, four pins to the low. There you go, Bitcoin moving up. Let's see if they hold the zone. Is this the low? Look, man, I don't care if no one likes me, man. If they dislike, fuck them. Happy days. You know, they'll still watch the stream. That's the success right there for you. The success of the stream is they can dislike it and still watch it. Happy days. They just don't know where they're at. So look, what, what we're seeing, when we say hold in the zone, I'm making reference to the whole pattern. No worries, man. Thank you, MM. Lift and eats, no worries. <laughs> Bitcoin mob, that's pretty blunt, bro. <laughs> look, guys, we will always have, we can't keep everyone happy. And I've realized this. No worries, Merlin, bro. And thank you for your involvement, man. You've been asking questions that people haven't been able to ask or wish they had asked and never got a chance to. So fair play to you, my brother. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Jordan, pretty much. If it doesn't break out, it's not a breakout. Said it in your same question. that pal you had a dream you was watching my live stream you were probably watching my live stream bro <laughs> that's how long they are <laughs> Luke <laughs> no. you know what bro have you ever actually been to one of their games in Cyprus it's crazy they have the army across the, um, across the football pitch they have it surrounded around the back of the football pitch because afterwards, like, people go nuts. They're scary, man. I'm not Trader Dante. I know Trader Dante. He's cool. I like Trader Dante. The colored zones, the red, green, white. The red, green, and white. All right. Okay, the red, green, and white. Green is the Asian zone. These are just time zones, guys. These are time zones. There are no indicators or such if price hits a high or low. No, it's just the time zone. It tells me, it shows me the Asian session, how long it is. That's eight hours, that is. All right? And the red one is the New York session. That's the Brinks, that's the Brinks box. And that's the start of New York, end of New York. Okay? Sorry, start of New York, end of the London session. Okay? The end of New York starts at 10 o'clock right here. That's the end of New York there. What is a moon boy? Demetrius, you don't need to worry about it, man. It's just someone that buys at the all-time high. That's the best thing I can say. Happy days. No worries, Jay. No worries, Joe, sorry. Ethereum, Fetch, and Stella. Those are the three coins I'd hold. Yeah, 
Look, if there was an impending financial collapse, I'd still trade it. I have no bias to the upside or the downside. I trade what I see. You know, a trader can't have an opinion in this game. He trades when price goes up. He trades when price goes down. You know, macro, socioeconomics. I mean, look, when the 2007-2008 crash happened, the subprime mortgage crisis, the US was going on for a 294-month economical monthly expansion. All right, it needed to reset. 280, 280 it was 285 month economical expansion it needed to reset right and you know it would pay to find out how far the us or the world in terms of expansion how many months they've been expanding for that's your that's your gauge remember they need to they need to reset the process they need to reset everything so event xxx horizon try and find that out and let us know how far we are in terms of economically what expansion zone are we in because when the subprime mortgage crisis happened the reason why i know that is because i was trading oil at that time and the oil tick i was trading was clr and the mistake i made was i was actually watching so many stocks and i was never actually taking a trade and i just witnessed all of the oil stocks fly to the moon man it was crazy you know and then that subprime mortgage crisis happened. It was crazy how like how that played out. Because I read from the chart before that I got from Investors Business Daily. It was saying that the US right now was going through a 280 month expansion, economical expansion. And we are due a cycle because they sent me out a chart of the stock market indexes over the past 100 years. And it showed you the economic expansions that happened and then the retractions. It showed you when the Republicans and the Democrats, when they were in charge, what was happening on there. It was the sickest chart going, you know, and it was up until 2000 and 2006. That's when the chart was drawn up to, right? And typical 2007, 2008 price, you know, the market collapses. Madness, isn't it? Orange price is the ask line. Yeah, that's the ask line right there. Ask and the actual price point, the gray one is the bid. So in between is the spread. Okay. Madra, what was the question? M what was Madra's question? What's the biggest loss you ever had? Ugh, 40k, bro. 40k in one day. Right, I'm ready to bounce, guys. Listen, it's been an absolute pleasure. Spread is important, can because the market makers make their money in that zone. They get orders filled in that zone. That's why it's important. Arthur, no. This is my full-time job. Yeah. Guys, you enjoy yourselves. We'll be back on tomorrow night. All right, much love. And anyone that has subscribed, thank you very much for subscribing. Anyone that hasn't, Thank you for coming to the channel, man, and showing love. All right? You take it easy. Peace out, Girl Scout. I'm coming for you, Jaded, bro. Oh, bro. <laughs> <laughs> No worries, guys. Mad love to all of you guys. Mad love to all of you. Thank you for the support. And just let's just keep it real, guys. Let's keep it real. Mad love to all of you. Take it easy, guys. Thank you so much. Get yourselves over to Mike. Get yourselves over to Mike Dutch. See you in a bit, guys.